Hello and welcome. Salutations and good evening to all. It's Graveyard Golf and I'm your host, Graveyard Fortune. Whoa. Welcome in everyone. Big night. Everybody playing golf out there. I am uh, broadcasting to you from a slightly updated studio out here on Bonnie Greens. Graveyard has a chair. I'm sitting on a real chair. This is the very first time I've ever streamed <laughs> sitting on a, on a real chair that's not in some janky ass space and uh, salutations indeed. Thank you so much, man. I spent the entire afternoon ripping my entire set. It's, it's incredible how difficult it was to get the thing to look exactly the same as it did before. But I got this, uh, I got this cool chair back here that I can put uh, this nice pillow on. And my cat, I can scoot my cat thing here, and uh, Ophelia can join us and feel like a little bit closer to the action. And uh, I don't know, I was like trying to update the setup today, and I feel like it was a success. So welcome in. We're getting started a little bit later than I wanted to, but we're getting started nonetheless. What's going on, Andrew Morris? So good to see you, man. I was going to review some matches tonight. I haven't even really re like. Go ahead. I was going to talk about a little bit of it earlier, and I just didn't get the opportunity to. <clears throat> so I'm going to go through. Uh, I'm going to go through what's available, but uh, it looks like Slick is telling me that there's a, a way easier way to uh, to do this than the way that I was going to do it. I was just going to look at some scorecards here, but I got to go looking for this uh, this results document. Slick, uh, I hope you're having a good night, man. So good to see you and Mario Punch. Vibin indeed. What do you think about that seed punch? Uh, I was watching Gazzaro hack at it all this afternoon, and he was doing work. There, there's so much going on. The Triforce hunt is such a cool thing. We could eventually race this because it's like a, it's like a hunt, you know. But I haven't even started it yet. And yo, punch. Get this. Lady Miong has the emulator and the randomizer working, so Lady Miong is going to start playing. A Link to the Past Rando with us. I was watching a big Link to the Past Rando streamer today, and they were talking about how you don't need to know glitches, it's more accessible than you think. They were saying a lot of the things that I think, but I don't even know how to say it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so inspirational. So it's cool to be, uh, it's cool to be playing a game that lots and lots of other people love too. So that's, that's always fun to have to have cool friends to, to dig into that with. But it's always fun when our cool friends are digging into the stuff that we're into too. It's going to be fun to play Zelda. All, like, I think Meong, Meong was like, it's fun to play along with streamers. I love to do that too. So if you want to do that along with us and you're getting the notion that you might want to do the same thing, let me know. If you don't, you know, have what you need, we'll make sure that you have what you need to do that. No problemo. But it's, it's like uh, everybody's playing golf out there tonight. It's watching some cool deep dish matches. There was a uh, half beard, half ginger beard was on last night, the night before, with a new stream. I always love when I jump into our home category and I see our SRGL logo like real big in a thumbnail in a stream that I don't know. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> affiliate, like, a, but affiliate of like ours. Like it's, uh, <laughs> it's really, it's really cool to like have a, uh, to have a sort of club like that. Man, I got to tell you, this is wild. I can sit back. I can like, I can, I can, uh, ah, man, this is fucking something else, dude. I think it's going to, I think it's going to improve my gaming. I got my big monitor up here. I have my stream controls here and I have chat and like my discord and the other, and the other shit over here. So like it's, uh, yeah, I'm trying, I try, it's, it's a lot comfier than it was before, dude. <laughs> it's a lot comfier than it was before. <laughs> Like, even just in the last four hours of me sitting here getting things, like, try to put back together, uh, I feel like my hips and my knees are, like, a little a little bit more like, oh, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, yeah, we can deal with this. And it's, like, a wide base chair. I have a pillow on it right now that I'm probably going to remove at some point because it's wide enough to let me sit cross-legged in the chair, which is sort of what I always try to do on the stool and then I can never do, and now I'll finally be able to do that, so... Or just, uh, we're not in the new room yet. It's going to take a whole lot to rip everything apart here and put it together in a new room. But if I can be cozy in this space for, you know, the foreseeable future, I'm totally cool with that. I just want to, I just want to keep, I just want to keep making everything better with the stream and, and everything. I, uh, I discovered that if I curve my green screen a little bit, it gets rid of all that, that 
uh, jiggery stuff that's over here. And uh, it's not even a big deal, but for a, for a producer, you're always like trying to improve on the errors. And stuff. And I, I love how Ophelia did decide to sit up here, but she's facing the exact opposite of the camera. <laughs> but either way, I think I feel like the screen looks a little better. I feel like uh, I feel like it looks a little bit better. But everybody's out there. Our category is big. We got 22, 22 viewers in the Mario Golf Super Rush category in the dead of winter, late January. It's not ever been like this. There's a there's there's a uh, slow burn, a slow burn, a slow train a coming. <laughs> if it's a slow burn a coming, you should get that checked out. You should really you should really see somebody about that. Sorry. I was thinking about uh, I don't know. I think I think I'll have to have a Mexi Coke soon to celebrate uh, Blustery Basin. It's like the it's like the polar bear. It's like the Coca Cola Polar Bear Week. And I want to play some Elo matches on the practice settings for what's coming up. So if you want to queue up, I have a queue running for that. F feel free to uh, to jump in there. But I think there's a lot happening, so it might just be. Uh, Sort of quiet for a little bit, but it sounds like uh, Andrew wants to play. I'm down to sort of throw. But here's the thing: on Blustery with Elo on Blustery, I don't love the course, but it's never throwing away points because you, you can actually get your opponent. I mean, if your opponent gets into a bad situation, you can come up with points on a on a much higher ranked player on something like Blustery Basin, more so than Spiky Palms, even I think. S R G L leaderboard and results. Nice job, uh, Lady Myung against her uh, opponent. She played LC. She played LC, right? That was uh, that was nuts, dude. I can't I can't believe she came up one ahead and won that thing. Good for her, killing it. What have we here? Yo, what's going on, Lil Spanker? How does it go, my dude? Hope you're having a good night, man. Pizarro, dude. I had such a cool afternoon ripping all my stuff apart, working on this chair. I got the new chair. I got uh, I got this. I got this like. I got this cool like waffle chair. This like low back chair. And uh, I was trying to get like all of. I don't know. I was I was really happy when I when I realized that I could still stand up and like. I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't like take over the whole screen. Yeah, you, you, you got to get in on this, man. It's 10 weeks, 12 weeks, 13 weeks with the finals, the quarterfinals, the semis, and the finals. I um, I highly recommend it. It really adds the pressure of real deal, triple A, double A, <laughs> esport shit. I don't know. Like when I uh, when I compete, it's it's uh, it's for real. It's definitely it's definitely for real. So you should uh, you should get in and it'll only make you a better golfer. It'll only make you better at everything that you do out there. But I'm doing well, man. I'm, I'm this is my first stream that I've ever streamed sitting in a chair. Like a like a like look at this. I have this like <laughs> I have this like swivelly chair that I can like. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a very basic thing, but I've never been able to do this before. Uh, I've always, I've always streamed from this, like, janky-ass bar, bar stool. Uh, <laughs> and now I can, like, uh, I can lean back, but it's not, I don't like, I don't like chairs that are too high, because they, like, I don't know, they always fuck with my neck. Like, I, I take all the, I take all the headrests out of my car, and I just, like, throw them under shit, and then people get my car, and they're like, where the fuck, I can't sit in this chair, there's no headrest, and I was like, you, like, what do you mean, like... <laughs> I can't. I just. I. If there's a headrest. I'm like. I'm like. I'll cut the chair in half. I won't want it. So I didn't have to. I didn't have to cut this chair in half. It's already. It's already like cut in half, from where. Uh, you know where. Where it would be. But yeah, my back. My I'll already do my knees and my back and my sort of like hips feel like. A little bit relieved. Oh my god. It was always just like. Uh, yeah, we'll get that when we get everything else working. And. Uh, Two years later, you know what I mean. <laughs> I just—I was a standing streamer for a long time. I'd do five and a half, six-hour streams, and I just wouldn't have a chair. I'd just like stand the whole time, which I can still do with this setup. This is like the cool thing that I was like really trying to get working, because if I spin this thing around, 
and now the back should disappear, and I can still I can still stand here, and then <laughs> walk off <laughs> down Bonnie Greens. <laughs> um, but I don't know. It's 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 small, but it's cozy. It actually kind of has to be to all work. It's kind of like a really a really difficult balance, but I think I have it all. I think I have it all put together. So this is what I was working on this afternoon. That's why I'm on at midnight and not ten, like I said it was. Standing desk is definitely what I want in the new room. I have a new, like, empty room that I have to, like, start setting up. I spent all summer clearing it out and building it, basically. And uh, now that I've broken it down, I gotta build it back up. And I'm, I'm testing my, this is like, get all this work in here, and I'll be like, okay. Now I just gotta, like, move it into a, into a new thing. And hopefully it doesn't give me a breakdown. Let's take a look at these results. This is a little bit easier to look at than me having to count some shit up. Yo, NBH, what's going on, dude? I, uh, streaming from a chair. Streaming from a chair. This is my unique solution. Slightly smaller, slightly, slightly different. It's not a high, it's a, it's a, it's a no headrest chair. Fucking chair, yeah, right? I could just, I could just leave. I could just get up and leave, and we'll just let this, we'll just let the chair stream. It's like, uh... <laughs> It's kind of like wa it's kind of like waffly. It's kind of like a waffle iron, but like it feels it feels pretty good. <laughs> it feels pretty good to uh, to sit on, and it lets me scoot everything around. So now we can hang out with Ophelia more. Right? I got this great picture of Ophelia, and then my phone crashed, and it didn't save it. I was like, God damn it! And then I was like, I'm not gonna let that ruin my ruin my evening. I'm gonna get on here and stream. Look at this, I can lean back. I can lean back. I'm like... <laughs> I think it's going to improve my gaming. It's going to improve my gaming, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to up the chance that I fall asleep on stream. So there is that. <laughs> but I hope you're having a good night, dude. I, um... I was chilling for a while, and then I went to go make food, and then, uh, I kept working on this. But I want to play Blustery. I want to play some ELO, I want to play some ELO Blustery after I review these matches. So if you're, if you're down for, uh, for some ranked golf on your favorite course. Just sleeping? Yeah, it's going to be me. It's going to be me being like, oh, I'll just get, I'll just get comfortable here. I can see it happening. I can see it, I can see it happening. I could, I could just, like... <laughs> I can just cozy, cozy up here. If the cat, if like if the cat's here and I like, just lay, lay, it'd be funny if I like laid my head down and the cat was just like, uh huh, yes, sleep. You sleep now. It's so good to see you, Woogie. Hope you're having a good night. We're gonna do golf for the first half of the stream tonight, and then we're gonna do the new Zelda Rando seed that I am behind on. Gizarro and Punch have been playing it all day and doing like shitloads of cool work on it. And I have sort of been keeping a little bit of an eye on Gazara's stream. Punch has told me some stuff that he found, but not where. So I have some hints, but it doesn't really actually go very far. It's a it's it's a it's a jet seed at the beginning, but then it gets tough. It gets tough once you get into the like mid right in the middle. Um. So well, yeah. Get get uh get cozy, man. Be lazy. Crash. I'm gonna go over these matches. I haven't I haven't really paid as much attention as I wanted to. I don't know, I feel like I haven't even had that much to do. I've just been sort of like taking my time and thus being late with everything. And then I uh, I don't usually watch Twitch when I drive. <laughs> so I was thinking that when I was driving. I was like, I should be watching the match right now. But what's going on? And then when one was. But yeah, we're, we're going to get out of here pretty soon. I just want to I just want to take a look at this shit. And then uh, I'm not even going to I'm not even really going to think about Zelda until I uh, until I play at least. 30, 90, 102 hole, 100, and how many holes is, how many holes is three courses? I don't know. I, I love how I'm like, I'm just going to play 18 holes, and I'm like, I got to play three courses, minimum, minimum three courses. Uh, <laughs> I, um, yeah, yeah, we know we must play. You have eight pieces? Wow, you have eight pieces? Cool, man. Gazaro has, uh, 13? I think Gazzaro did a lot. He did a lot. It's fun to have like a slow race all taking place. It's like 
<laughs> like the like it's a slow race that's like happening. That's that's actually pretty cool because we're not good at it. It takes longer, but it's just as it's just as fun and challenging. But yeah, as far as uh, <laughs> Zelda golf, Link Link cuts the grass on the golf course now. They gave him a job, and he's he's not going to uh, he's not going to let him down. No, it's okay. I uh, my my I'm I'm the idiot that's over here with a vertical preview window, so I can just uh, <laughs> I'm I'm the idiot trying to like parcel out my screen to be better. I don't I don't I don't even know. I uh, we'll just do it like this. How about this? We'll just look at a pair of a pair of tiers a piece here. This is team. Well, the team doesn't really matter. You can just see who uh, who did it here. These are ties, Henry and Speed. They have, oh, yet to play, pardon, yet to play. Yeah, Beans. Nick Dizzle, my dude, what is going on? So good to see you, man. <laughs> I saw the Beans before I saw the name. <laughs> Nick Dizzle's like, yep, that's how I, that's how I roll. <laughs> that's how I roll. I can't believe you're doing it without the mirror, dude. I beat that three crystal Ganon seed mirrorless. Mirrorless is so hard, because you have to take the long way for everything. It's really frustrating. <laughs> I'm curious if we, if I'll go a different route. This is going to be funny if you're going to watch me do it because I'll go a different route and find like nothing except for I'll have the mirror or something like that. But yeah, Gazaro's got like a solid seven hours in on that seed today. I, was, I had you in the background of everything I was doing and uh, all of my shit got done. I have a chair now. We're going to play Blustery Basin in the snow. Dr. Ebik takes a loss here. That's kind of, yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 this, that's what the scene looked like in the movie when Dr. Ebik was, was taking this loss. So 23 under, two Eds, 24 under. This is week one. These are Ridge Rock. This is Ridge Rock Lake. Standard, standard tees, strong winds. They were sporting settings. They weren't that easy. I put up my worst score in the whole thing for my official match. The lowest thing I shot was a 19 under in practice, which still wouldn't have been enough. But I shot a 17 under for my match. I was, I was devastated, and uh, I, I'm determined to do better this week. But it looks like Ed is going to walk off with the victory here. Um, Dirty takes the win against my uh, my teammate Lasong. Oh, strong. I watched uh, just the tail end of that match. I I was there for the Al Fritz match, but I, I wasn't like. I wasn't, I wasn't able to really pay attention to that, but that's Alfred's coming in a few strokes shy of Andrew Morris's stellar performance, throwing down a 24 under. The first one we've seen, I do believe, out here this week is, uh, I, I, don't, I don't, that's like, you can't be, you can't be bummed about losing to a 24 under. Yo, what's going on, Rich? So good to see you, man. How goes the night? I hope things are going well. I uh, I'm kind of getting my bearings. I mean, I feel like I'm in a new studio because I, I everything's sort of in the same place, but it's all been moved around, and I'm in a I'm in a new chair. And Rich played his match earlier. Is this this is fully updated? So we'll see it on here. Cav and Spenny get that push earlier in the week. This took place, um, what Monday opening day, I believe. They tied at 23 under. Very cool. Rohan. Yeah, we were talking about that one before. That Rohan match was the one that I, I would have probably bet on Rohan there, but Norris comes out swinging with that 23 under and really kills it. Good work, my man. And Wooly, the underdog player here to Juju Beast. Absolutely. Juju Beast, hell of a world rank player. Holds down rank. The dude the dude can uh, can can get it and keep it. <laughs> but Wooly plays a perfect match. The 22 under. Perfect match to Juju's 21. Um, and that's great. I wonder how I wonder what that went down like. Yo, Spenny, what's going on, dude? Me and the cat and the delicious pizza uh, send you good vibes and welcome you in. I hope you're having a good night, man. I hope you're warm. It's pretty warm here. It's 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 like 25 degrees right now. I got all the new stuff set up. I feel comfortable. I feel pretty cozy. I'm ready. I'm ready to kick it on uh, on Blustery. If anybody wants to queue up for an ELO match out there in the Winter Wonderland, you are more than welcome to.
It's 3200 today where you're at. <laughs> Warmed up here today. <laughs> Absolutely with tier one scores. You're 100% right, NBH. I wasn't sure what happened with the, uh, the Drillo Sean match, but I wasn't available to call that this afternoon. I was like, if it has to happen late, it can happen late, but I, uh, I was sort of like orbiting for that. Let's look at the tier threes and the tier fours. Drollo Sean delayed, right on, right on. Uh, yeah, I, I really, I was like, I'm, I'll be here later. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was, uh, I, I wasn't sure. Might be Saturday. Cool. Okay, we got some time to get ready for that. That's going to be a fun match to watch. Master Kush does the same shit that I do here. Throws the 18 against Bengals. Rock solid. Uh, 23 under. Rich! <laughs> with the 24 under, my dude. A, a tier 3 throwing the 24 under. And Mississippi Chippy as well. That's, uh, god damn, you guys are, you guys are practiced. I'm looking over into the tier four with the 24 unders too. That's really impressive. That's incredibly impressive. Rich, Chippy, Grey Wolf, Pole Guy tying at 24 under. That's, uh, is that, that's not a typo, right? That's, that's correct. That's fucking pretty rocking, dude. <laughs> that's pretty rocking. What kind of match was that like? Damn, I gotta play Grey Wolf next week too. Whew, I play Grey Wolf at 9 p.m. Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday night, this coming Monday. So keep an eye on the stream for that. <laughs> Oh, Bele losing in tier three with that 23 under is wild. You really play, you really train for, I, I trained for, I wanted a 20. I was like, I think my safety score would be a 20. And I just, I whiffed a couple of putts. Um, yeah, Grey Wolf, Grey Wolf hangs out and plays ladder matches, dude. The, like Grey, Grey Wolf, Grey Wolf plays <laughs> and you can tell it shows, man. Shadow also not letting his skill deteriorate at all. Putting that 21 under up to best golfer Eddie. Uh, we all train for around the same safety score. Golfer Eddie gets there uh, single stroke shy, but it's not enough. And Shadow uh, heads off at the win there for tier three. Yeah, Mississippi Chippy uh, has always been part of, you know, the ethos, you know, the, the, the old school meta. And... Uh, he, he's he's like he, he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't let anything go. It's so cool to see him be able to do that. It's it's so it's so interesting to see him be tier three, and for him to be putting the twenty four up here. That's that's impressive. NBA has been throwing down some fantastic streams the last like your your commentary, the Mario Kart. I. Uh, I feel like I feel like everybody's doing so good, and I uh, I'm just like I'm I'm, I'm smiling because I I sit back and I'm like man I have I have so many I have so many cool streams to hang out on. I feel fucking lucky to know all you guys. Man, I did not feel lucky in my match here though. Master Bingo does well. Doesn't doesn't throw. You know what I mean? Doesn't doesn't do anything silly. Um, LC gets into a little bit of trouble out here. Puts up that 16 under, and Lady Miyong hauls that shit out of the gutter. She had a, she had like a, a handful of pars and a bogey and hauls out like what, three eagles in a row on her match on the back nine? Three eagles in a row on like what, 12, 13, and 14 and fucking stuck out the 17 under for the win. I fucking love you, Lady Miyong. <laughs> I'm so happy. Team Yongbong, unofficial pair, uh, double, our doubles team. Thank you, thank you, dude. But you are welcome, seriously. I, uh, from 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 one from one from one streamer to another, it's it's fun. It's really fun when other streamers make you want to be a better streamer, and it's even funner when they're your friends and you just all hang out and do the same shit. <laughs> it's like 
and that's cool too because if we like it's it's hard to get everything done like we're all working on so if we're all working on all this shit like i didn't make that that thing over there you know that's slick i uh we we benefit so much from one another i just i, I can't say that enough i know i say it a lot but we, we benefit so much from one another it, it's, it's the way it's the way man it's the way LC, LC, LC and I are clinking glasses and be like, yeah, the way, yeah, it's the way. There's the way, the way to the, to the washing glass, uh, as we, as we, <laughs> as we drown our sorrows at the clubhouse. LC had that triple bogey. Yeah. On one, right? <laughs> on hole one with an impressive bounce back. Yeah. Really impressive bounce. He had, he had he had one on hole one. Let's look at the scorecard because that was that was a really super fun match. I can't believe I missed that. I'm so sorry that I missed that, Lady Neon. It was this one right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this one. LC, uh, the triple bogey on one. Fuck, yeah. Doesn't even put a positive score up until hole four. That's difficult. But he hauls that shit back, dude, and keeps the thing, and plays a perfect front nine otherwise. Like, what? Look at that. This is pair of eagles. He plays the perfect front nine. Neong, uh, bogeys five. It's fine. Uh, LC pars 10, gets nervous. Neon, <laughs> Neon triple eagles. 12, 13, and 14. Yeah, I was right. And then bogey 17. What does 17 look like on Ridge? Yeah, 17 on Ridge Rock standard strong. Um, 17 sucks on that course. <laughs> she bogeyed 17 and then pars 18. And LC manages the bogey on. 18 does par 17. Nobody gets that birdie on 17. It's elusive. It's elusive. But Miyang sort of checks out on 17 and 18. But it's like it's cool because she triple eagled. What a fucking match! Like what a fucking match, dude. Also, he had a chance to tie it with the chip on 18. He got he got close to it and then just birdied because it's like a close chip. Ah. <laughs> ah. I'm going to go back and watch that. That's one that I am going to go back and watch. Oh man, that's a fun one. What about my favorite? The uh, the tier 5s and the tier 6s. My favorite favorite. Slow Shark. Slow Shark. Sorry. Puts up a rock solid 20 under. My dude, what a fucking baller. Against Scoozy's uh, respectable 16 here, Simar with a nice 15 under to BT's 11 under. They get they get wrapped up. I wonder what the weather was like. Um, slick a tier five throws the 24 under. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I didn't even look at the whole graphic, so I was like, I was just calling that as like a fantastic, uh, fantastic score there. But they, we saw like what? How many 24 runners do we see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven 24 runners. That's, that's impressive, guys. That's impressive, guys. I, uh, I love to see it. Slick. I knew he was a formidable golfer. I was always, I was always worried. But now I'm, now I'm. No, I'm fucking terrified. Against my teammate Xander with a with a respectable 16 as well. Saints with that 11 under half ginger beard trains and takes the 14 home for the win. PJ Tears, I put a big bet on this one on NBH's stream and I had to run out to the grocery store, so I didn't actually see my return. But PJ Tears takes a solid win. That was an all over the board match, right? They were like, they were really all over the place. Um, and I think Thinker, I think Thinker kind of like maybe got into some deep trouble at the end and couldn't, uh, couldn't pull it back. We get yet, uh, we're yet to see Ice Cat and Garbage Gamer play. Gnome King 
loses to my friend uh, and teammate Deep Dish the, with the 18 under. Nicely done. I do believe that's the only win for Team Northern Lights this week because Spenny's, Spenny's a strong tie. Spenny, Spenny didn't, didn't fuck around with that tie. But I, uh, I do believe that's going to be the majority of the points for Team Northern Lights this week. <laughs> nice work, Deep Dish. Uh, we needed it, bro. Nice work. Tears is in control. Yeah, he's got some great coach coaches in his sphere, and it sounds like he is paying attention to their input. You even played Bowser. Cab. Oh yeah, Cab's so good. Cab will kick your ass with fucking DK playing Bowser. Like no problem. He uh I feel like Cab can plan for shift so well because he plays such such like chonky characters it's like it's like in his blood like he doesn't he doesn't miss with that he doesn't put it in situations where he's gonna miss with that there is a reason dirty has won every season the dirty the season of the of the dirty the season of the 69 yeah there's i mean the man the man carries the torch and uh nobody nobody can really challenge him Played Blustery today with the small character. Do you wanna does that, you wanna try that now? I'd love for it to be ranked. Um, but the small characters list is really interesting. Pauline counts, Boo counts, two very interesting uh, edge of the line characters. On Blustery, you need the control. Like it, you want to be able to smash and get close, but the course the course is built to not let you do that. So. It's it would it's it's good to learn how to play those control characters. And then I don't know, a couple of people on completely unrelated streams were asking me today and yesterday, they're like, why peach? Why peach, peach, why peach this game? Why peach? And I was like, I, I started trying to explain and I was like, I don't know, it's peaches. Because because Peach, because Peach is a monarch. <laughs> she knows she knows how to how to control. She knows how to run shit with an iron fist. <laughs> and it shows in her golf game. The truth. Why Peach? Yeah, I uh, <laughs> I was asked that today, or last night. I was I, I was somebody I forget when. Somebody in the last forty eight hours specifically asked me that, and I uh, I started giving this like technical answer, <laughs> and then I stopped. I was like, because she's a monarch. I uh, that's why. Peach, I I I'm seeing like four hundred percent more peaches on the golf course in the last six months. I uh, I just want to want to say that. Um, Speed playing Peach for the past year, actually. Speed switched to Peach a while ago. Deep Dish is playing Peach. Oh yeah, was it Torch? Was it uh, Torch Stay Lit? Him and Gma Sasu. Yeah, they're really cool. Yeah, Slick. Oh yeah, Slick was there. Yeah, you were there. You were there in that. Uh, you were there. You were talking. You were. You were chatting. That was funny. <laughs> I was like, I was taking it seriously. I was like, well, mm, yes and yes and yes. And I'm like, no. No. <laughs> it's funny. Gma Sasu is pretty cool. Um, she's got a great setup. Too. She's got like a nice little office, but she gets like the she puts the rice pack in the microwave and like heats it up. I'm like, man, I gotta get a rice pack. It's like a fantastic idea. But she's playing Unite with 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 her kids and other people's kids, and she's like a a healer and she'll like she's like a helper. And I don't know, it's like it's an it's an archetype. It's like a whole archetype. I um I can't wait to hang out there more actually. I haven't played much Unite over the past couple of weeks because I've been playing so much rando. Oh, that's really where my, uh, that's, that's really like my other game right now, which is going well. It's a lot of fun playing Zeldu Valley, uh, my, my, my favorite ROM hack. That's the only thing I really was going to do. Um, these are the teams. Pick your favorites. Bet on them. I'm gonna run an ad right now. Uh, I'm gonna run my ads right now, and while I get the uh, Elo match ready, and then we'll have all that done before we head off to the golf course. Everybody will be able to see 
The action in full swing. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta talk about this. This is coming up. This is coming up, man. It's not too far off. We're in, we're in late January. Um, start priming your pumps, kids. Fucking March Madness. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's gonna happen. I don't know I don't know what this entails, but it's always a blast. <laughs> Usually there's like money to be won. This is the this is the only uh, grassroots community fed uh, sort of like side quest tournament that can 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 net you some uh, some walking around money. That'll be coming up in uh, when's that coming up? Uh, probably March. Some something something about that. Tells me it starts in March. What do you say? Should I make a room, or uh, is anybody else out there? I'll I'll make one. I'll make a room. I'll run first tee. I'm probably gonna run first tee ish for my uh, for my league match. Provide well, provided because I'm planning on my opponent choosing T two. So I'm gonna try and play around that. And be ready for it. March Madness is awesome. I also love March Madness. March Madness. March is when I like started streaming. Is when I got affiliate. That's like March is March is a just like a, a naturally hype month for us on the stream here. Um, and I'm not. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I. Uh, I love what we do here. I love how hype it gets in March. Why me? Why you? Why? Why me? I. Uh, I don't know. I, you have to be more specific. Oh yeah, I streamed your Doctor E win, dude. So many cool matches took place in March Madness. That was the like. The, like the mods were like any donations would be appreciated for some sort of like you know thing a waffle at the end of the at the end of the whole thing and everybody involved was like fucking here you go motherfucker and all, all of a sudden there was like what three four hundred dollars in the in the pot and uh, I was like shit whoever wins this golf game is like totally getting paid <laughs> like uh, I was I was fucking I was so happy about that. The show goes on. <laughs> You're not getting a fucking promotion. <laughs> oh man, this is great. My cat, I put like an extra pad underneath the cushion so the, the cat, I was hoping the cat would chill here because the angle, it's trying to get all my angles right. I think everything looks pretty good and sounds good. You're nervous about the league? Hey man, me too. Things get weird. <laughs> I uh I know what you mean. I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous too, dude. But it'll be it'll be it'll be okay. You'll be you'll be you'll be good. Yo, what's going on, Rob? Yo, thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that, man. It's uh it's a continued effort. But yeah, I can sit here. This is a ranked match, right? We wanna play some put some blood down on the line here. We had, uh, I do believe we had Spenny on the way in. Rob can catch the next, uh, blustery. If Spenny is, uh, is still hanging out. His internet might have uh, taken, taken a dive. Yeah, I don't think he's here, actually. Punch playing his league match tomorrow evening. Right on, dude. Good to know. What time? Gonna win it. <laughs> Gonna win it. Love, love it. Love it. Love this attitude. 10 p.m. Word. Is it gonna be streamed? <clears throat> 
sweet. I can't wait to watch. I'll start a little bit late. And then I'll watch your match. Yeah, I think uh, I was going to hang out and wait for Spenny, but I think we can totally play through and he can catch the next match because I think he might be resetting. I don't see him here right now. So you are you are totally cleared uh, cleared for landing, Rob. Man, this is cozy. Yo, Deep Dish, my dude. Thank you so much for the raid, man. Welcome in. You inspired me. I uh, I got a show up this week. I'm b I'll be practicing my uh, my blustery and elo matches. So if you're uh, <laughs> if, you, if you're still hungering for more uh, blustery golf, uh, I'm ready. He's like, no, 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 don't. I'm I'm not. Uh, I don't. Uh, Whoa, the double raid. <laughs> Deep Dish and Lady Beyong. Yo, welcome in, Raiders. You're just about. You're, you're actually your 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 timing is impeccable. Could not could not be better timed. We're gonna pick teams here for this epic match. It's a three it's a three player Elo match, but it's gonna be a two v two magical <laughs> magical gravestone pred match. Um, and it could go either way. You you really have a lot to think about, especially because it's plus three and it's these players. Um, it's so good to see you, Lady Miog. Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. I'm going to play some of our seed later on. So if you want to play, if you're going to be hanging out later, you want to play along, I'll, uh, that's, that's my plan anyway. But I'm going to, I'm going to blustery base in it for a while here. And, uh, no worries. Take your time, take your time, Rob. And, uh, hell, hell yeah. Sounds good. I hope your stream went well. Both of you. I hope, I hope, uh, I hope your streams were awesome. Deep Dish, is that a fucking... Cheese pizza, cheese pepperoni cheese pizza curtain that you have like in the background of your stream. I was like looking at that, and I was like, I was like, I was doing other shit while I was watching my streams today. That's why I wasn't active in chat. But I, was, I kept looking at that. I was like, dude, I think he got a pizza, like a pizza blanket or a pizza curtain. I was like, that's fucking pimp. That is, uh, that is really. This is really something, man. It looks, it looks, it looks good. It looks cool, man. It's like colorful and nice. The pizza, yeah, just like the pizza archetype. I love how, like, man, that's like you, you've like a thing. You, you have like a thing, and it's really cool. <laughs> it's great. I love the, I love the pizza. I love the pizza. Okay, let's put you to bed, Grandpa. Um. <laughs> but let me get a friend going here for this match. And Rob is, uh, Rob, Rob came out to the tee box on the golf course. And then, like, I don't know, it was like dance, he was like dancing around, and then he like ran back to the clubhouse. And, uh, and we were like, yeah, he's probably got to pee. Like, uh, <laughs> he's probably got to, he's probably got to pee before he, before he comes out and hits the, hits the track with us. So that's, uh, that's, we're hanging out here, but we're, we're, we're covering some very cool shit, man. Deep dish. I want to, I want to, I want to seriously, Give you credit where credit's due. Deep Dish took the only clean win for our team this week at 18 under against Gnome King, who put up a hell of a score, man. I actually, I, I wasn't sure what to expect from Gnome King, but they did not disappoint. They, they trained, they did their thing. They showed the fuck up for it. I, um, but yeah, D Deep Dish over here in the tier six column, but doing the most work for our team this week. I told you that was going to be the story of the, the lower tiers. And it's already happening. It's uh, it's something else, man. I fucking love it. And Miyong, you must extend. Go give PJ Tears like a, a hug and like a, a just shake him. It'd be like, I fucking love you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of uh. So proud of all these golfers that show up, but PJ Tears is a is a new golf, an amateur golfer that was like you know a golfer that plays this game and they're looking for par on the course and they they fucking put the wrench time in 
put the ranch time in and set up with a 15 under. Seriously, yes, seriously. Spenny, I, I didn't see you in chat, so I gave your spot to Rob. I'm sorry. Uh, will you be around for a little bit? You want to catch the next one? When you're getting tree goals uh, like deep, anything is possible. Yeah, the man, the man, the man has a magic touch. I haven't seen Garbage Gamer play. I haven't seen Garbage Gamer play. Mario Punch and Arcus will play tomorrow evening at 10 p.m. on somebody's stream. I'm not sure. Not here. Hot Leg Kyle's got to play too. Yeah, I wanna, we got to get Lil Spanker in. We got to get Hot Leg Kyle in. I um. <laughs> totally forgot about your spot. Okay, cool. Spenny's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I queued up and just fucking left. It wasn't my internet. It's like, okay, cool. I don't feel bad then about uh, getting ready to go here. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I, he's trying to be a good streamer, but... <laughs> Citrus snaps. Mm -mm. I think that had a lot of terpinoline in it. Which was good. It doesn't always give me a headache the way that it says. They, some people say that it does, but I don't love. I don't love like massive terpinoline. I think the citrus snaps is really, really citrusy. Citrusy to the point of like orange peel, not like lime. But it was really good. Um, the strain I have right now is one of my favorites, and it's buttermilk biscuits number two or three. Number three, butter buttermilk biscuits number three, and. Oh, it's so hearty and weedy, but it sort of tastes like buttery biscuits. I don't know. It's, uh, it's really, really, really good. The worst mod ever. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Spenny's a mod, too. <laughs> let me let me do Andrew and my... Let's do the grave robbers versus uh never been Andrew here. And you've got uh ten minutes on this one. We'll roll into these settings. It's the it's back standard. Right? I always get this wrong. Standard Strong. That's Ridge Rock. Let me get this wrong all season. Yeah, it's never been Andrew here versus the Grave Robbers. Haven't smoked in a while. Might just stop by the store on your way home. Hell yeah, dude. See if they have any buttermilk biscuits. The other one I got is uh, this new. It's this new. It's I love see. I love the citrusy stuff, but sometimes it goes over an edge. It goes over a line, and then it's like too much. But I have this Mandarin. <laughs> Mandarin Belts, I think, is the other one that I got, and uh, it's some, like, really nice Shatter. I love Shatter. Showdown. Shatter down? Showdown. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Never been uh, Elijah Woodier. What's going on, Shadow? It's so good to see you, man. Let's do this thing! Huzzah! Man, I'm sitting in a chair makes me feel a little bit different. I, I'm a little bit more relaxed. I feel, I feel like I'm a little bit more at ease. Right now, I'm almost exclusively wax. Just because... Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like it's... I feel like I... Uh, I feel like it's better for my health, actually. <laughs> because I, because I'm, uh, I'm a pretty frequent uh, indulger. This is the first stream, this is numero uno stream that I've ever had. A chair, like a chair with a back. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's an espion? That's not, that's not what I expected to be back there. <laughs> when I turned around, that was not what I expected to see, I gotta be honest. Um, the wizard! I, yeah, but normally I built my stream around the principle that I would always be a standing streamer. Which sort of seems a little bit short-sighted now, but it's, we're, this is two years in. Last stream of the week earlier, but you're going to be back on Tuesday. Um, and you'll be around this weekend. Hell yeah, dude. We'll play... Uh, we'll, we'll be playing some shit. 
You wanna play rando? <laughs> I said that at Cathedral and he's like, no. <laughs> N O. <laughs> when you let me indulge every day, you like to make flower tea. Ooh, yeah, yeah, the edibles are really the best. If you're if you if you want like the most uh the most health benefit with the least with the least sort of like chance for side effect, yeah, the edibles are the way to go. But sometimes edibles really hit. And uh I don't know. I still like hitting a bong, you know, so so dabs are the uh, the middle of the road for that. The honey's nice too. Yeah, this ra this rando is fun. The seed that we're on right now is like a real jet seed at the beginning. Did you beat it yet, Punch? Or no, you didn't. You only you said you only found ten. Um, yeah, this 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 we're on a triforce hunt. <laughs> we're on a triforce hunt. Later. That's that's on the second half of the stream tonight. Right now, Link is cutting the grass on the golf course, and it takes him a while, but he loves to do it. So we let him we let him do it the slow way, the way that he likes. They're cutting that grass. <laughs> you're on uh, the train from your parents' house from Toronto, and you took three gummies, and uh, you're toasty by the time you arrive. Yeah. Sometimes you get the note, you get that idea. I don't know. You think you're a fucking genius when you get that idea. You're like, oh, I'll eat a, but I'll eat like a big edible and then travel, because uh, you know you got time to kill. You always think that, and then you do that, and you're like, <laughs> it's not. I don't know. I guess if you, I, I don't know. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not as fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather eat the edible when I arrive. When I'm not, when I don't have to do, when I don't have to like be in very specific places in an airport at very specific times, you become a little bit confused and sort of hungry. And uh, there's French fries, and uh, and then I have to, I have to go buy them, and then I be, you become a little bit sleepy, and I sit down, and I'm like, wait, what concourse? Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Shadow. Thank you so much, my dude. You ate eight grams of mushrooms in a TSA line in the flight because you thought, yeah, you like, you're like, I'll, I'll, I'll get through, no problem. And then you're in line, and you're like, I don't know, I don't know, man. This is, yeah, this is. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I ate that. I ate that 700 milligram edible before I went to the Denver airport and tried to fly home the first time I ever went to Colorado. This was why this was years ago, and holy fuck, that uh, I had a hard time getting on that flight, dude. <laughs> They kept asking me if I had lithium ion batteries, and I kept being like, Whoa, I have batteries. Where's my camera? Like, and they were like, Sir. <laughs> like, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell them that I didn't have, I don't know. It was, it was bad. It was really bad. It was bad. Yeah, and I and uh, oh my god, the worst the worst part of the entire thing was I didn't have a window seat, but I sat down. I was in the, I was in a middle seat. I sat down in the middle seat. Uh, I was like, I got the window right here. I'm on the fucking plane. I'm high as a Georgia pine, and the guy fucking gets in. The guy arrives that has the window seat. He gets in. He sits down in the window seat and immediately fucking closes the shade. And I almost screamed. <laughs> like I was like this is the whole reason I'm here <laughs> that's the whole reason I did this you bastard uh, and he like left the window closed for most of the flight I'll never forget I'll never forget it I'll never forgive him um, the base it's base time holy shit I uh, did it make a did it make a noise I don't know if I uh, I'm just I was I was just locked up in that memory of uh, that edible and that window shade that I'll never forget Base time. Let's play this. We'll play this match on eight. We'll play this eighteen because we're we're running this spread here. We'll, we'll play this. You can play eighteen holes and then I'll and then I'll, I'll play some tunes on the base. Um. Whoa. Huge redeem. Big redeem. Big redeem from Mario Punch. Yeah, yo. I don't even know what I'm gonna play, but it's gonna be awesome. Okay, teams are set. Um, so I'm so much more comfortable in this chair that I get uh, I get distracted. I'm like, oh yeah, this is nice. <laughs> this is how people do longer streams. They have a chair. 
You have streamed on mushrooms twice a week for the last few months. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, dude. Mushrooms, mushrooms freak me out. Oh, sorry, you gotta ready up, Andrew, if you're out there. Um, I just, I just hit it. I was just trying to keep me on track. Let's see if he keeps T2. That'll change things for him. Oh, he's got it. Oh, what a... Oh, just keeping the drama. Keeping the tension high in the room. In high tension lobby here. Hello, Tangelo. It's so good to see you, my man. Hope you're having a good, uh, a good evening. Playing blustery Elo tonight, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna mess around with our A, uh, a L T T P R seed later on. Ate a bunch of mushrooms last year and forgot uh, your switch for Smitty's tournament. You bought a new switch but had to play with Zero Star Clubs. I remember that, dude. I remember that. I remember you. I remember you playing with Zero Star Clubs, and we're like, why doesn't he have any clubs? And, and so just like he had to buy a new switch. I was like, holy shit, for the, just for this match? Like what? It was, uh, it was, it was fucking epic, dude. It was fucking epic. It's back normal, right? Am I, am I right about that? Is it, I think, I think it's back normal. I can check. I have this ready to go so I don't screw this up. Uh, Bloodstreet Basin, back normal. Yeah, I'm right. I'm right. I'm member. Yeah, you wanted an OLED, but I remember. Farm <laughs> that was, yeah, Beverage Farm does, yeah. Beverage Farm does remember. That was, uh... It was a little bit of a mess, but hey, you got it done. You got it done, and you got that you got that switch you wanted. So come on, <laughs> mushroom mushrooms always like. I, I've had a, I've had a handful of good trips on mushrooms, but I've had a handful of really scary ones on mushrooms, and I don't know. I've never I've never I don't know I've never successfully microdosed either. <laughs> oh man, you got 30 seconds to get on this pred. It's a relatively large one. If you're into, uh, I mean, never been injury or has a good chance. This is NBH's home course. They've been practicing it. Oh man, and I changed a few things with my setup too tonight, Miong. I'm glad you tried that because I wanted to see if it worked, but apparently it doesn't. However, Tange is in. Bizarre. Yeah, right? I, I get all this stuff ready for myself, Andrew, and then I'm like, man, maybe I just shouldn't have eaten all, all the mushrooms. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just... Okay, we have a little bit of right pull here. We're gonna see if this is enough to do the thing. We just gotta, yeah, we gotta, oh, we gotta miss that tree, man. I was just gonna talk about how we had to miss that tree. It's okay, I think we're safe. It's okay. I can sit freaking, I can sit on this chair. This is so cool, man. Okay, I can make this good. There's plenty of room to make this work. Alright, we're really pulling right here, but I, we're gonna need it. Hey, I should have pulled that a little bit forward at the end, but I have the spin on it. We should move in the snow. We're on the green. It's not the best placement, but... I am finally getting cozy. Like, I, I, I tweaked a few settings. I, I didn't want to make anything look drastically different because I do feel like... Uh, I don't know, like, I, I feel like I've created something that is, that is nice, and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to gild the lily, you know, I, like, I, I just want to, just want to have it naturally be its, its own thing that works well, but <laughs> the chair, we need the chair. Woo! The chair! <laughs> For the chair! <laughs> For the chair. That's that's the waffle that's the waffle shot for the chair, right oh? Right up here. I got my cat closer to me now.
which she loves. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I, I actually love how the chair makes me a little bit distracted. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, uh, no, this is just, it's all fine. I do that right. Oh, I'm, I only want one here. I don't want to go all the way up there. Just one there would have been fine. We're really up in the air. That wind is affecting us. If you, yeah, you, wow, that really bounces left. I feel like I could make myself find some way to like raise this up a little bit. I feel like I'm a little bit lower than I was before, but. But I'm comfortable now. <laughs> really, it's gonna be good for my body. All right, this is standard spin. I needed to go even more that way. I, I left that alone. That's totally what I wanted to do, dude. I kept it on the green. That's that. Geez, you can't ask for more than that. Can't ask for much more than that, dude. It's, you got a chance at it and you were still in the safety zone. That's like, that's the pro, that's the pro shit that you want to try. And I'm not trying to talk my shit up. I'm just trying to say that's, that's what I've learned is best from dudes like Andrew Morris and Rob and, you know, Dr. E, Tangelo. Actually, no, Tangelo fucking goes for that shit. <laughs> Tangelo has less of a safety zone than most pro players. Tangelo will try and hop that shit in many circumstances where where I, I would maybe not, but he he gets it, so like he knows how to do that shit. I played that a little a little lower. I could have un, undone some of that correction. <clears throat> We're gonna have another competitive week where hole one, like matters, matters, dude. Like you're gonna see, you're gonna, I can almost guarantee you're gonna see another triple bogey on one somewhere in Blustery Basin week. It's my specialty. <laughs> yeah, it's not togging. It's like togging, but it's not togging. But it's like togging. But it's, but it's. I don't know, more successful? Hello, Ginger Snapple. How goes the evening? I hope you're well. I got my chair, I got my cat, although it looks like Ophelia might uh might be piecing the fuck out here. <laughs> oh she's just she's just co she's getting cozy. I changed my whole setup, so I'm seeing how things uh how things work out here, but aww. You happy cat? Just got home, chilling out. Awesome. I uh, was going over some golf matches, and now I'm just gonna kick it for some rank matches on the basin for a couple hours here, and then I want to play with my new Randos Zelda seed. It's gonna be so much fun. 6.9 yards up in some big wind. I have a heavy duty wood on it. We're gonna see if I can get the wind to do something for me. It's not quite what I needed it to do. I had to actually pull out of it, but we'll stop it. We'll stop it in, in the right spot. That's actually kind of perfect. Plenty of power on Blustery. Yeah, I normally do throw early on this course, and it's uh, it's cool. It's cool to see um, a little bit of progress in my game. Eagle Gang, all four. 
Last time you played Bluster Elo, it was not great. Yeah. It is uh, It is indeed a ranked match. It's. It ain't easy being cheesy. That's deep dish nose. Man, I got a chair with a little surface next to it. I can keep notes on it and look at them. This is great. I'm going to just go with my notes here. Although, I don't know about the spin that I'm, uh, that I'm attempting here. I feel like I could have let that run, but my notes tell me to put super backspin on that. I, I okay, so I'll keep it uh, in some sort of hittable, you know, terrain here. Yeah, this is seven iron material. We'll come in really early there with a little standard spin. Just try and get some sort of run across the screen. However, it is a nice day, so that's not. Pro if that doesn't work, it's gonna go into the rough, I do believe. That's rough, potable, I think. This time, I'm ready for blustering. This time, I'm ready. And yeah, if Tangelo says that, he means it. <laughs> Let's see if I can play the wind. No! I had the power and everything. I didn't get it up on that slope enough. Oh, it it uh it was it didn't even land lined up. The wind in that hillside got the best of me there. That's a par from myself and MBH. Yeah, Deep Dish, Deep Dish is, uh, he's, he's the cheesiest stream in the Mario Golf Super Rush community. And I mean that, like, not cheesy, like, you know, it's, it's high quality. I mean, but the dude has melted crispy cheese in the background. <laughs> but it's, it's delicious. You gotta follow that guy. All right, we get some pretty decent shift for this. Try and get as, you just gotta get as much power out of it as you can. Dodge that, dodge that little leaf there, and uh, just do do the best you can. That nine mile an hour tailwind isn't enough to get me up to the top of that, and I'm on the ice. It's gonna, go, it's just gonna roll right, right back down. You're you're welcome, dude. Everybody's streams looking so much better. It's it's always cool to see everybody keeping working on everything. Shit, nice eagle, nice eagle, Grant. Nice eagle, and we got great wind for it here. Is it enough to get that close to it? Or is that, okay, that's sort of what I wanted to do. <laughs> I, um, ah. Oh, that's probably not enough. Uh, maybe with standard spin, that would have actually rolled all the way in there, but not there. It was a good roll. It was a good roll. I landed a little earlier and I should have compensated for that. Rob gets that eagle, keeps our team uh, in line with the others. It's a tie ball game. Wrapping up the front nine here. I gotta get a little bit back on it. Big tailwind for this, though. Can really make it work. We won't get the most out of it, though. Is it enough to just get me out of the... Yeah, you just don't want to land in those bushes. You just don't want to land in those bushes. This is ideal, though. Yeah, I, I, I... Yeah, I think you're right about that. I should have taken standard on that last one, but I wanted, if I was closer, if I, see, I don't normally stop it quite so low on the power. If I had stopped it with more power, it probably would have bounced in. It was a nice day. What I was trying to do might've worked. 
I didn't I didn't actually pull off what I was trying to do. And I can be safer with it by hitting it lower with the standard spin. Andrew's right about that. This one usually really runs even with uh, the back spin, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave the back spin on this one. Andrew thinking the exact same thing. Yo, that's awesome, Deep Dish. Yeah, that's that's the coolest thing you could say. And I'm glad that it's fun to watch too. I don't want to alienate anybody, especially not my friends. You know that love that we love playing golf together with. But yeah, I uh, nothing I do. I'm oblivious, but I'm genuine, and it kind of <laughs> I just I always do what I want to do and what feels right and fun and cool. And uh, if that that but that's what I want to inspire. You know what I mean? I want. I mean, I want to play fucking Link to the Past Rando with you too, like with everybody. <laughs> but like, but no, we will all learn more trying new things together, and then we'll like. You learn things along the way that you need for other things. It's really, it's really cool. This is a good looking chip if he's got the spin on it. Oh no! <sighs> Beautiful chip. If it stopped, if it would have stopped on the lip, I that finesse would have dropped. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta, and you gotta keep moving too. Like I, I have to play some Wild Frost. I want to get back to Wonder. I like having a couple of different things in the in the oven that I can sort of get out. You're not even doing much off, you know, it's just it's just sort of how it goes with, with this course. Here's your here's your part three opportunity with a sixteen mile an hour crosswind. How nice. Eight yards down, in the wind. What do you think? Let's just play it easy with the seven iron. See if that wind takes us all the way across the gap. It's kind of nerve wracking when you're hovering over a bunker. <laughs> I could have been in a little early, the line was good. But yeah, hovering over that bunker is not great for one's nerves. But that's sort of what you have to do to set that shot up in that crosswind. Nice drop, dude. Nice drop. You're gonna do your playthrough or start your playthrough for Link's Awakening tomorrow. Yo, that's badass, man. The OG one and the Switch Rebuild are all are both amazing. I have not played the Switch Rebuild, but I own it. And uh It's really good. And it looks good too. I think it'll look really good on stream. It goes good with pizza too. So. Yo, Sean, what's going on, dude? I hope you're well. Wrapping up the back nine here on the big, the BB, the big basin, the big, the big blustery. This one, very interesting play. Everybody has a different strategy that they want to throw on this one. I actually do time the jet here. And we'll stop it right in the middle of that fairway to give me a line. You start getting close to that tree and things deteriorate really, really quickly. But I can nine wood over that, no problem. This is why you play Peach. This is why you play Peach. This shit right here, this is why you play Peach. Oop, I go a little bit far there. I could have put all three. I wanted to get all three down somewhere in there, and I, I just didn't. I only got two down on it. See that standard spin there, and I, I don't. I don't normally use standard spin for that. Yeah. See, I think backspin would have worked there. I'm just trying to sort of apply it and see what it looks like with way less power, probably. I thought a piece of flag was uh, coming in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, you see Waluigi, like, banging on the dashboard. Oh, cool. Right on. We get to, we get to try out the base and the new setup. I, I actually was curious about that. And we'll, we'll get to try it out together. He did the exact same shot that I did. <laughs> it looked good. It looked good. I, I set this, the exact same shot up, dude. It looked good. The shot looks fine. What songs am I going to play? I haven't practiced, so I might be a little bit rough, but it's fine. Off to the back nine. Let's go get it. This is uh, this is another shot that I always think I know how to do. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for you, Frosty. That's for you. I set it up just like you just like you told me, like a year ago. <laughs> Woo! That's a nice one. That was a nice one. It's the chair. It's all the. It's the chair, man. The chair is is really helping my game. <laughs> you want to improve your video game skills? Sit down on a chair. <laughs> it's, I just try it. See if it works for you. I didn't think. I didn't think so either. <laughs> but here, at the end of all things. Yo, good night to you, Rich. I hope you have a, uh, a good rest, my man. Sleep well. I will see you soon. Uh, peace and love. I'll see you on the golf course soon, hopefully, too. Praise to the chair. Oh, Too rich. He's a good golfer. Rich shot that 24 under. The magic 24 under this week. Hell yeah, dude. You can hang your hat on that one. Seriously, congrats on week one, Rich. Bringing, bringing 24 under to the people. Not, not leaving it uh, at the top of the Matterhorn just for the tier ones. No, this is, this is, uh, this is a little game uh, called Tennis. Cathedral. So if you're looking, if you're looking for golf content, you are in the wrong place, my friend. It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a good night. I hope your tennis is going well. Um, the chair, I, the chair has improved my game. The golfing in the chair, better than not. Ooh, the flat spot right here. You want to play some uh, Link to the Past randomizer later, Cathedral? <laughs> I just can't stop playing tennis. Like, that's Zelda Graveyard. And <laughs> all your windows are open. 10 to 1. We have a new Triforce Hunt seed. It's posted in my uh, my Discord Link to the Past randomizer channel. You can download it and play it. Uh, the the uh, 
the object of the seed is to collect, uh, what, 20? There's 30 Triforce pieces scattered throughout the land. You have to collect 20 out of 30 and then take them to Mraharalala, which is Sahasralala's brother. <laughs> Your dog's name is Zelda? Yo! That makes me happy. I love Zelda. Zelda Zelda's a game that like teaches you how to be a good person. Like it's uh it's really it's really it's really something. It's really when you come to Zelda as a like a young a young kid, it like teaches you it teaches you like humanity shit. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's hard to describe. I believe Lady Miyong has a uh, a dog named Link. Am I right about that? Yeah, in Cathedral, little known fact, Cathedral starts every Zelda game by naming his vile dog. Uh, it's God backwards. It's kind of complex. It's kind of. <laughs> it's, he's like, don't, don't talk about my weird dyslexic God complex, okay? <laughs> It only applies to Zelda. I'm fully functional. Everybody said it was fine. You said you wouldn't talk about it. And here we are. <laughs> Actually, in Breath of the Wild, when you got a pony, you named it Dog. <laughs> <laughs> the royal horse, not a pona. Yeah, because that would be blasphemy. A pona, a pona is our, our, our sweet friend. I forgot the fucking elevation on this as soon as I looked at it. So I'm just playing by instinct here. We'll see if it's any good. It's not that bad. It's going to zip back there. Yeah. Dog complex. Yeah. Dog... Dogma complex? He's just like, no, that's just a god complex. It's like, oh, 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 yeah. That's me. We were trying to get past that. Uh, do I jank? Can I jank? I'm allowed to jank, right? Can I fucking do this? I'm allowed to. Am I. Am I uh, janks are allowed. Okay, cool. <laughs> if I'm allowed to do it, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> That's blustery. I gotta be able to make sure I can do it. Dogma is a great film. Dogma's probably in my, like, top ten, like, all-time favorite films. The cast is fucking top drawer. It's really well written. It's The framework of it is really sort of, like, shaky, but it holds together as a movie. It's kind of, like, my favorite kind of film. Like, uh... Like, I don't know, I'm not the hugest Tarantino fan, but Pulp Fiction is barely a movie. And it it like it like plays like if you if you look how it's made like it it really plays and that's like kind of expert expertise shit you know what I mean <laughs> yeah I'm praying for some seven mile an hour wind I'm playing for a lot of it in my uh, in my tournament match because <laughs> that's how that's what you need to do that janky thing that I just did <laughs> janks all day yeah I'm into these weird. Uh, they were having like a game breaking glitches conversation on this one Link to the Past stream that I watched today. And a lot of people were just saying, they're like, oh yeah, it's this is just required tech in, a, in an older game. Like if you're gonna play an older game, you just have to know the required tech. We can almost say that about our game now. You know what I mean? I'm three wooding this. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I just, that was so close to working. That was so close to working. It's pretty flat, like, over there. Ah, the wind, though. Yeah, that would have worked. The wind really got that. I didn't want to go back into the side of that bunker. We'll give one up there. Andrew and Rob keeping things incredibly competitive at 18 under a piece for the for the course. Myself holding a lead for the team at two strokes, 14 under, two NBH is 12 under. Off to 15. When is my match? My match takes place this coming Monday at 9 p.m. 
Eastern Time. Pulp Fiction is so good. It's such a good movie. Reservoir Dogs, also an incredibly good movie. Fucking awesome ass movie. Like the editing is is different. Like it, it really like you, you can really learn some cool shit about editing by taking apart those movies. But he, but like the golden suitcase, like that's that's a lift from Kiss Me Deadly. Like if you want to know what's in the golden suitcase, you gotta watch Kiss Me Deadly. Um, but yeah, he didn't make that up. Like he he took that from another movie. <laughs> It's a good, it's a great lift. Like, I fucking love it too, but he didn't make that up. He took that. <laughs> but it's, but Pulp Fiction fucking rocks. Uh, John Travolta, was, it's arguably John Travolta's best role, and he's like, he gets mad at it about that. When, like, because he didn't, he doesn't like the, uh, the heroin chic thing. Which has got a point. Big bear hugs to you, Tennis. <laughs> Big bear hugs to you. You get a piece of that? That looked that looked really close, dude. A tennis came here to watch some tennis. Jeez, it's a good match. Look at this. Damn, Andrew. Great win for this. I was actually thinking about playing some Switch Sports tennis soon. I I kinda I kinda really want to. I like Switch Sports Tennis. It's the only Switch Sport that I'm half good at. <laughs> Pauline need that. You saw, she saw, she like, she was like, oh. she hit it with her knee. She can do that because she's the mayor and nobody's going to, nobody's going to say anything. Pin shot. It's peach time. Pauline's like, apparently not. Peach is like, I'm gonna remember that. I'll see you. I remember. I remember that. <laughs> ah, yes. One, just, just one switch sport, please. I, uh, I, I know you've, I know you've got a few ready that have them all wrapped up together. I just want, I just want the one separate. I'll pay full price. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this is gonna truncate that so bad. I didn't need to do that, but not in that heavy duty tailwind. I could have just let the tailwind do that for me. I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do that, no. I just like accounted for it and then just didn't, and then just didn't deal with the word didn't do the thing that we needed. Bonk. Woo! It's the chair. It's the chair. That's a fucking hell of a chip. <laughs> it's the chair. For the win. Bertiesburg on 16. Yeah! What is up, Cthulhu Mouse? So good to see you. We're training. Uh, it's a ranked match, too. So these guys are looking for... Uh, he's got, Andrew's looking to hold on to his points. The dude doesn't like to... The dude doesn't play with his points. He's like, uh, what? <laughs> you don't like to play with your points, you know? Like, maybe the wording... Yeah, we gotta. We need some sort of chair emote. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty like par for the Twitch course. Come on, roll down there. Hit me on the T box. That's fine. Catch me on the short row. It's so good to see you. You're having a good night. We've got a cool new rando seed in Zelda that we generated last night. It's a Triforce Hunt seed, and we're currently currently there's four of us on the Triforce Hunt. It's Punch, Gizaro, Lady Myung, and myself. Anybody that wants to join the Triforce hunt is welcome. Ooh, look at this, look at this! Oh my gosh! Oh man. Dude. Yikes. What a beautiful runner. I don't even I don't even take a run at this anymore. 
I take a bounce at this and then I, I putt the shit. I, uh, I love what you did there, dude. He goes in a completely different way. He does not take that tee box side. That's really a, that's really a T1 thing. Ooh, NBH comes up short on that one. Slick is a great golfer and Slick's only getting better. You know what I mean? But this next uh, Zelda seed is the Peach Seed. We're playing as Peach Time. These guys know how to hit it. Yeah, 21 under, off to 18 on this course. With uh, you know, we've had we've had a couple of bad days. We've had some decent opportunities. I gave up a couple of things, but I think even great circumstances, I'm still at a 19 under here. This one's the weird ass thing that I try and do. Oh, Slick is here to stay. Slick, Slick found something that he likes being good at, and he's like, oh no, yeah, I, uh, I'm not fucking going anywhere. Whew, look at that, look at that, I'm getting good at it. That's the only blue candy shot that I ever learned. Uh, <laughs> like that, he does this weird serpentine shit. It's so tricky to master. I watched him do that so many times I could never get the hang of it. On like other holes. Like there I finally did, but he's got he does that on so many different holes on this course. Oh dude. Oh dude. That's a moment of silence right there. Oh boy. A dirge, if you will, maestro. That was really fucking close, my man. That was really, 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 really close. Oh man, I'm in the lane, but I don't have any. I don't have any role on this thing. Good evening, Goblin Bot, my dude. It's so good to see you. That's an eagle on 18 for, for Goblin. Me and the cat get uh get where we need to go okay with those other two strokes i flubbed i'd be at a 21 that's f i I'm, I'm competitive at a 21 for this course for this week in tier four that's a it's a pretty solid elo win that's andrew in first place myself in second uh and nbh in third for the elo match here on the stream that is uh the grave robbers taking the win there andrew and rob share on the podium at 23 under for the course, what a knockout blustery. That was a great, that was a great run. Great round indeed. Yeah, fun to watch. Great round. Yeah, we need we need the chair. We need a chair emote. We need a chair tag. Uh, waffle chair. It's that it's the weird grid pattern that makes it look like a waffle iron. That's kind of like that's kind of what sealed the deal for me. I was like, I'm getting that one. <laughs> I'm getting that one. That was a good one, dude. Great round. Feel free, uh, Andrew will report that one. Oh wait, I. Uh... Oh no, I can't see my thing. Oh shit, something broke. There we go. I think it's. I think it's off. Finally putting in the practice this season. That's uh, that's what it takes, man. It's the way to do it. A lot of the time I'm doing that while I'm doing stream stuff. And if you're if you're not doing stream stuff and you're just practicing golf, you'll get way better way quicker. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, who is next? Feel free to queue up if you haven't played yet. I gotta take a I gotta qu take a quick two minute break here, um, but I will be right back. Uh, Andrew, Andrew took a nice win there, and I don't think we have a full queue, so he, I think he's welcome to stay. Actually, we do have, uh, quite a few names here. We've got, uh, we've got Spenny, who's, uh, who's waiting patiently. We've got Tangelo coming in for, uh, can, is it a, we got a four-player ELO? 4v4v4v4. Four v four v four v four. And then if you want to get in for the one after that, Rob, you are more than welcome. I want to get I want to get Spenny in because uh, we switched you out for him on the previous match. Good night to you, NBH. Seriously, sleep well, my dude. I don't know why my uh, my little thing is not uh, not making its 
o flow não é isso. Um, yeah, BRB. And we're back. Thanks for being patient with me, as always. I actually didn't take a 420 break. I took an Oreo break. I got the party size box of, uh, or bag box container of Oreos, double stuffed Oreos. So I, uh, I went and got a couple of those. Final Fantasy 16. Oh yeah. I saw you streaming today. I actually didn't get a chance to lurk. So I didn't get a, I didn't, uh, I didn't get a look at it yet, but I can't wait to watch that. Oreos are... A habit. That's a cathedral quote. I was thinking about getting it and putting it next to me while I streamed, but I didn't. I decided not to do that just now. I think that's better for everything. Oreos. Yeah, Nabisco. Nabisco, the National Biscuit Company, whatever entity, you know, you want to funnel money into our grassroots sports endeavor sports always make money oreo nabisco you know that so get it on the ground floor 
I'll put Oreo. Sh I'll burn Oreo's logo into all my graphics. You won't be able to. You won't be able to not see it. <laughs> we need a big sponsor like that, Spenny. <laughs> we need to get somebody like Oreo or uh, like fucking Cheerios or somebody on board so that uh, get some sort of golf slush fund. <laughs> Throw some shit around for all. Just get all the streamers paid, you know. I, uh, and then or get all the players, get all the players paid, and all the streamers paid. <laughs> That's the dream, right? That's the dream. I, uh... <laughs> no, Cathedral, we want them to sponsor us. I... <laughs> Your son went through and licked the cream out of all the Oreos and put them back in the package. That's fucking criminal. That's criminal, dude. That's criminal. I would... I would... I don't know what I would do, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I would do, but yeah, I think I yeah right like the and the big players should be able to get endorsement deals on their own. You know what I mean? Like Doritos, Doritos is missing a lot of traction opportunity for the tier ones to be hocking their chips, talking about Doritos every match, wearing their swag. <laughs> you know, sometimes people only do things because they get paid, and you know, it's just really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Star yeah, we dude, Starlink, actually, that's a good one. That one, they would go well on Twitch. I kind of think that they should be sponsoring you. They do a before and after of your stream. And then they'd be like, that, that's just, that's the commercial. <laughs> like, nothing else. The before and then the after. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about that. I got the coffee... If the Oreo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dunk, I'm gonna dunk some Oreos and some coffee pretty soon. <laughs> pretty soon. I already had a bunch of coffee. I had, I had my three cups of coffee today. I try to limit myself to three. Sometimes I have four. Um, but I already had that today, and I'm not gonna make more coffee tonight. So I'm, I'm going in raw on my Oreos. Oh yeah, I gotta pay out the friend. Yeah, I saw the mint ones. I didn't get those, though. I'm, I'm kind of a purist when it comes to my Oreos. Dude, yeah, right? Like, General Mills? <laughs> that's like a... Uh, that's a real NASCAR-ass thing. Like, they just want their logo on stuff with people walking around. Like... I don't know if we have the eyeballs for that yet, Sean, but that's what we want. That's what we're, like... That's what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I'm uh sort of that's the, that's the arc that I'm trying to build. And like everybody could have a different thing, like the bat, like the badass gol golfers, you know, like like Sean's probably gonna be sponsored by like you know Camel cigarettes. Or like, there's no regulations here. Like, they're gonna try and get in there, and then there's gonna we're gonna have to pass some sort of like rules. Like, but there's it's the wild west. It's the wild west right now, and nobody's taking advantage of it. And I think it's a little bit of a missed opportunity. <laughs> I would love to see a bunch of golfers show up with Marlboro jackets. It's like, wait, is this some sort of like payola scheme where you guys are gonna like? <laughs> Because I want some of that camel cash, man. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> I don't smoke anymore, but for the right price, I, I, I don't I, I just bite it. I don't light it. Uh, <laughs> Will Smith and camel cigarettes bring you the SRGL. <laughs> it's the fucking Super Rush Golf League. Ah, uh, yeah, you heard it here. It was a funny story. You were uh, standing in front of them, looking at all the different kinds. And while you're there, uh, this other old guy came down the aisle and also grabbed Oreos. And uh, it was like 9 p.m. You just felt justified. Yeah, like everybody's like the after work crowd has already gone, came and gone, and you're just there, unable to decide on indulging your vice or not. I'm glad that he. I'm glad that he solidified that. Yes, yeah, Sean, Sean Tushan and Joe Camel bring you 
SRGL after dark. It's like the clinking of pool balls and like glasses and ice and like, you know, jazz. It's, it's, it's Sean and Joe Camel. And I'm like, God damn. And, it's, and then it cuts to me and I'm like, I can't fucking compete with this. Like, they got Joe Camel. He's so cool. He's banned from every media. He's banned from every television, everything. But they, but he's he's still waiting, just trying to find some way to, on the outside to like get back in. Joe Camel is like the SRGL. I, I got it. <laughs> Lights, light bulb above uh, the black light uh, illuminates above Joe Joe Camel's head, and uh, <laughs> he brokers a partnership with Sean Two Shot. And then, Sh and then Sean forces Twitch to have like different rules about cigarette ads. <laughs> I'll stop talking. I just play the game. Sorry. I uh, I'll stop talking and just play the game. He went to the Marlboro Ranch. Uh, it's part of their marketing budget right now. But uh, an all expenses paid trip to the ranch in Montana, fishing off road vehicles. Wait, really? You went to the Barbro Ranch? That sounds fun. I uh, do I have to smoke to go? Cause I'm I quit, but I'll think about it. I, I... <laughs> you want it by scanning a code on a pack of smokes? No fucking way, dude. I collected a lot of camel cash. I never got that pool table I wanted. Yeah, th this is yeah. And, okay, yeah, th yeah. Real talk for a second. Streamer has to say that we is, smoking is awful and terrible. It really fucks up your life. You shouldn't smoke. This is all a fucking joke. This is a farce. This is me being satirical. This is satire. Don't fucking smoke. I smoked for too long. Don't fucking smoke. I quit. I quit, but two thirds of people don't. So <laughs> then there's that's there's my there's my authority there's my authority voice. And now back to uh, talking about. The Marlboro Ranch. Let's, do they have a par three? Can we play? Uh, can we play golf at the fucking Marlboro Ranch? Montana, big sky country. I've never actually been. I would love to go to Montana. You still have the swag? Yeah. If I had like a leather camel jacket, I'd I'd fucking wear that shit, dude. <laughs> the, the, like I hate the, I hate that they they just just. Just me picturing the camel jacket, like I can smell a bowling alley. Like just, it's weird how like my brain is now triggering that. Like, like for some reason, me seeing that image in my head makes me smell like not just cigarettes, but cigarettes at like a bowling alley. It was set up like an old west town. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's so sweet. I love, I fucking love uh, like a frontier town kind of thing. Flying on planes with ashtrays. A lot of oh, you got to ready up, Andrew. I hit it. A lot of a lot of the commuter or the connector flights still have the ashtrays in them because they're older planes. But can you imagine smoking on a plane? That that would like that would be so nasty for everybody else that wasn't smoking. It's a ranked match, folks. I'm clawing my way back up the ELO ladder. I'm like, I'm like a top 40. I'm a top 40 golf. Casey Kasem and Blustery Basin bring you the top 40 golfers of the ELO ladder. And listen to the Beach Boys. And then it's uh, the Partridge Band. Or, I don't know, fucking, I remember Casey Kasem being on when I was a little ass kid. I can always remember that voice. It's uh, back normal. Cure leaf? Oh shit, yeah. Can we get cure leaf or like Terrasen? Uh, now you're talking. <laughs> they've got they've got capital. I uh, yeah. Truly uh, ethos. Uh, fucking uh, the apothecarium. Jeez, any Pennsylvania dispensary. I'll 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 fucking <laughs> I will advertise. <laughs> I will. GLHF. My uh, my little display for my audio thing went away, but for, but I think I, like I, I could see it when I changed scenes, and uh, it's, the game audio is on. Cure Leaf is in 19 states, wow. Cure Leaf is, uh, I've actually never gone to a Cure Leaf, do they have Cure Leaf dispensaries that they're like branded Cure Leaf? 
Because Curious Leaf's also like a holding company that owns a lot of shit. Yo, what's going on, Ronin? Welcome in, my dude. How does it go? I'm gonna kill this Pokey for you. It's for you, Ronin. For you. Hang that on. Hang that on the wall. <laughs> for Ronin. For Cure Relief sounds like an RPG item. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Couldn't imagine smoking inside an enclosed space. Dude, I, I know what you mean. That's one of the reasons why I switched to dabs, too, is because it's just like, it's. Like, when I, if I burn a blunt in my house, like, I fucking smell that shit. But I used to smoke cigarettes. Like, I, uh... I've, I've been in the glass box in Washington Dulles Airport. It's, it makes you, it makes you reconsider your life. You have to go sit in that fucking... Oh, jeez, this lag is fucked up. What is going on? Hmm. What do I want to do here for this? I'm just going to try and hack at it. I think I can get this done. Oh, it's not going to turn for me. I'm going to put two on that in the middle. Perhaps even all three. Bundle up, fellas. We golfing in the snow. That's right. It's snowing on the stream. It's snowing on the course. The, the greens, they don't close the greens. They're like, no, no, you, you, got, you got a putt on that. Good luck, fucker. <laughs> Bundle up. Hope you brought your cure leaf. Probably could have put even more power on that. That's going to work. Nice. That's gonna work. Plus, I'm I'm really learning to love Blustery Basin. I used to really have like a lot of hate for this course, <laughs> uh, but I'm really I'm really coming around to it, which is amazing that I've been playing this game for two years and I'm still like, you know, I have my favorite things, but it's fun to do different things. And then you do different things. You can't play all the courses all at once, so I get I get this way with Blustery for a little bit, and then I'll get this way with Spiky for a little bit. And then I'll go back and uh, sort of change that around. Ooh, I wanted one more down there. And I'm getting all three up here. I don't mean to do that. No worries, Spenny. You can tell that it, like it's in the wires because it like it chunks around and then it and then it gets fine. Like this is fine. My favorite course is probably a toss up between Spiky Palms or Shell Top Sanctuary Pro. They're, they're a little different because one's a par 3 and one's a full course. So my, my favorite full course is probably Spiky. Spiky in the snow. Spiky in the winter is gorgeous. Most people don't give it a, a lot of credit. The, tour is a, the tourists aren't around. Spiky in the snow. That's the name of my, uh, my lounge album. Most people don't know. Uh... That I that I that I, I do like like lounge singing. Nice. I'm going to spiky in the snow. I can't get that low. <laughs> you want to? That sounds like an Elvis song. You want know to sound like an Elvis? Spiky in the snow. Nice. Things are probably snowing outside my house. Not yet. Actually, it's kind of nice. Today is the warm day, dude. Uh, today it's like 25. It's gonna, and I'm glad that it got kind of warm today because the next three days are gonna be pretty icy out here in the wilderness. And I'm glad that it got warm today. Kind of kept the kind of kept the ground from getting too too frosty. Ready? But if it's 25 here now and it goes back down to 13 again tomorrow, it might snow. Let's go back on our bullshit here with this, uh... Ooh, my timing's kind of screwed. I wanted a little super backspin zip, but that was a little bit nice. flatter than I wanted. The seven iron and that run-up is so flat! That's, that's exactly what I was trying to do, dude. Andrew shows us how it's done, my man. Shows us how it's done. 
exactly what I was trying to do. He did it. What club did you use? Tell us about that. What was that? A wood? Or was, uh... He's playing Pauline. Really similar club set to me. It'll be in the 30s next week, though. Yeah, it's really the next three days. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's going to be super cold. And then next week, it starts eking up. The first couple of weeks of February, the Almanac says it's going to be really cold, but I kind of don't think that's going to really happen. But even then, it's just the first two weeks of February. And then after that, it's looking like we're kind of on the come down, which is so, so sick, dude. We just have, like, 25 degree weather for two months, three months. I'm, I'd be so fine with that. You hit that with an approach wedge? Nice, dude. Nice. That's how he got he got much he got the distance, but he got much higher up and landed it like beyond. That's what I wanted to do. I shot it with a seven iron, and it, and it sort of cracked flat all, all the way over there. You're supposed to get three to six inches tonight between four a.m. and four p.m. Like between four this coming four a.m. A couple hours, one hour. God, I stream so late. What is my life? All right, 16 mile an hour wind. It's gonna be big. Yeah, look at that. Look at that big wind. Ooh, the kick wasn't that great though, but placement is phenomenal. The Whiffler, Andrew Morris. Smart, big brain strats puts the approach wedge on that. Probably because you're totally close enough to do it. I don't know if your difference in drive, no, that your approach it doesn't, it doesn't give you a better shot with an approach wedge than I do, or than I have. Where did he get to? He takes this one a little differently. Looking for a line here in the wind. And he gets that same late drift that I got. It kicks, that kick is not favorable. Everybody wants that to just drift down the hill. They see the hill and they're landing it on the top of that, expecting it to sort of plink down the hill and everybody stops it right on the top of that. Great effort. Hole four on Blustery Basin. Blustery Basin is a long course. So if you like watching this game, which I think this game is really fun to watch, Blustery Basin takes a lot longer than other courses though. Spenny with the with the pin rattler. Ready? I'm pretty sure I'm doing Stardew Music again. I haven't found another option that's, like, great for that. And let, if you see something in that spreadsheet that really that you think would really work well for it, let me know. But, I, but Stardew Music is, like, I don't know. That's This is me, like, trying to make something that is, uh... Oh, wait. I need to look at my thing. I don't know, like, I don't want to use the Pokemon music because it's too... And the, the Link to the Hype... I like the Link to the Party pack. I really like the Link to the Party. I might do that again. Soon. Adding Peach to the mix takes it even higher, absolutely. I think Abigail in the Stardew mix is great, but I just haven't, like... I don't know, there's so many cool seeds. I just haven't gotten around to doing the Abigail one yet. Ouch, Andrew. Ouch, dude. He says, a ranked match, you say? Fine. It's a ranked match. Ouch, dude. What a phenomenal shot, my man. Let's put a little regular backspin on this. It's a nice day. Oh, I'm not going to get that hillside movement the way I wanted it. Damn it. No wind here. Yeah, Abigail needs to go crumped rocks. Abigail's looking for the mitt so she can collect rocks easier. Damn, Tangelo, everybody making use of this amazing weather out here. It's a beautiful day on Blustery Basin. These two want to let you know it. Oh, how am I upstairs of that? That's fucked up. Ah, rah, 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 rah. 
Double eagle, and he gets that freaking ace. Ready? Man, Andrew feels pretty good on hole six right now. I'll try and get one back here. However, ba the wet, the wind could work for this. You need to hit it just right and then not give up any of your distance. Yeah, left shift. Okay. Just don't hit the trees. Okay. Do we get on the green? Yes! We're on the green! Oh my gosh, with Peach! And I'm out driving Andrew. Just wanted to, just wanted to make note of that. <laughs> we have perfect wind for a, for a chip here. Just play the tailwind. Oh no! How did that not... Oh my gosh. I did everything right. I did everything right. I did everything right. I could have had that. Man. Not so. Clearly you didn't do everything right. The Zelda, the Zeldu Valley, and the Legend of Zeldu Valley and Chill is uh, a real like mishmash of everything that I've done slash do slash sort of like think. Of, but I don't know. It's like I think there's something to it, and I'm really liking it. It's nice for me to just do at night because uh, sometimes I gotta wind down. You know, like we do a lot of heavy duty shit here. Sometimes if I don't wind down with other Heavy duty shit like Rando. Ooh, Spenny might drop here. This is getting bad. Nope, he's back. I think he's back. Uh, maybe not. I have to try and send this into the wind. It really does affect my route, so I'm just gonna try and pump it here and I'm barely gonna get across that. You saw how, how I made that across like with ease last time. This makes it so that it almost doesn't work. Heavy lag spike, but we're back. Everybody on the tee box, so nobody was in like a, a weird spot having to deal with it. Oh shit! I thought he had come back. Darn it. Made it the whole seven. Darn it, darn it, darn it. you want to restart? I'm fine if you do. He's, he's going in the trees for me? Yeah. Oh, and the bunker. That's why the camera got weird, because they were like, you're gonna... You're gonna want to see how you, you fucked that up. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't you, dude. No, no, that wasn't you. That's, that's me. That is that is fucking my fault. Um, but it's before nine. I'm down to restart. If you want to go, letter of the law. These guys are playing a great match. Oh, you 100% DC'd, so you can't get back anyway. Gotcha. Well, shit. Andrew in the ice. Looking at this from uh, down in the hole. 16 mile an hour crosswind. Damn, I want more Oreos now. <laughs> A little more Oreos. <laughs> Bad. Super Baxman! Ah, he loves it. I love it too. That's a fucking amazing strategy. So close to making that work, dude. No worries, we'll keep playing. Spenny says keep playing, we keep playing. We'll play through. He's he's disqualified from the rank before 9 anyway, so... No worries there, it's a 3v3. However, the Pred is a wash. Unless you want to agree to just give him a 16 under for the course.
eight yard, eight and a half yards down right over this bunker. It's always fun to float. No contest. No low contendo for Spenny. Can really play that that walk up on that with the nine wood. It's a great shot. I did that both times tonight too. Should not have been given access to his test simulator. Feel the exact same way, Myung. You find some of those weird, uh, like they're not even bad sites to be on, but they have like a thousand at, like ROMs. You're like, oh my god, these are all video games. <laughs> Once you get into ROMs, it sounds like it sounds like Lady Myong's getting into ROMs. <laughs> Look out, Twitch! Uh, you found Mario Paint? Hell yeah, dude! That's where I found that fucking Howl's Hole in One Golf. It's a new era. It's a new era, Myong. I'm stoked. We both love this mess so much because we're both like, like. We're not, like, I don't know, there's a fine line between, like, SNES kids and N64 kids, but me and Myong have always been, like, super poor, so, like, our families would have had the SNES <laughs> over the N64 at first. <laughs> and, uh, I fucking love how you're the exact same way. I'm looking for this one game that's like Street Fighter, Double Dragon, sort of, but the people are rounder, and there's, like, weird Excalibur swords that you can buy, but it looks like Street Fighter... I don't know what the fuck it's called, but I'm looking for that. But, um, I'm trying to... So you're using SNES 9X, right, Lady Mio? Because there's a way we can do net play. Like, there's a way I can set up a server that you can join and we can, like, have two-player games, like, in the emulator. And then, then, the world is our oyster. But yeah, you have, you have that, yeah, some, I had that phase too as a teenager when you figure out what ROMs are. I was always more into, like, computer stuff as opposed to game. like, I love games always, but I was, like, collecting computer shit and not ROMs. But I remember discovering ROMs and being like, oh, yeah, well, I guess you could just have an endless amount of these, like, because <laughs> when they get editable, like, people can edit them. And, uh, they change some text and shit, and then they republish the game and it's in another realm. Oh, or with cats leaving. You headed out. You gonna go? You have to go out. You have to go out, baby. <laughs> Are you just hungry? Okay. Come back and I'll put you up on here. Cause she's, a, she's a bush dweller. She's not a tree dweller. She doesn't... She won't jump up there on her own or like really rarely she has done that on stream before where she jumped up once or me long saw it but she never jumps up there by herself oh that's why i needed my freaking standard spin <sighs> rabble 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 i've gotten close to these saves but i haven't gotten them tanned and you have nice. eight under off to hole 10. <laughs> yeah, that cat, that's the cat, the, the look at, on the cat's face is what you're like when you, when you realize what ROMs do, how to like use that shit. And then like the randomizer is like next level ROM shit because you give it a ROM that it then like scrambles around and randomizes and then you can play that with your friends too. Like that's like, come on, that's like next level shit, man. Nice shot. Oh, I thought you were playing ELO these days, Spenny. Hey, yeah, no worries, dude. I like any golf I get to play with my friends. Even if it's only seven holes. Your ex lived in a uh, Minnesota suburb. You weren't working, so your days were filled with going to the library, using their internet to download all kinds of games. and uh, But still, like not just rounds, but old computer games. And uh, I had a lot of weird Windows 3.1, like, DOS, like not DOS games, but like they were DOS games. There were weird ass games on floppy disks that you'd play and then you'd, I don't know, like you'd take over to your friend's house and also play. And then, I don't know, it was, that was a <laughs> very weird time in gaming. Damn, I don't get the wind or anything happening here. Nice 
song. Birdie pack. It was like a real retro wave. Oh, come on. A couple of years ago, and my a bunch of my neighbors were getting into like NES games, and like they were they were using the Raspberry, but they wanted to do it with, with like hardware on TVs. Like they, uh, and that's why I have that Raspberry Pi emulator thing, the Retrocade, which is really cool. It lets you like plug it into an HDMI and have those controllers, but. And you can do rando on it too, but being able to do that shit on a PC is like, it's so easy. And <laughs> clearly Miong knows. She's like, it's so easy. It's so easy. <laughs> I know. It's so easy, isn't it? She's like, it's so easy. You can just play every game. Can't play every game. <laughs> Can't hug every cat. You can. You can try. Nice one. You're jealous of the Zelda randomizer? Do you want to play it, dude? I'll set your I'll set you up with everything you need. I want to start a bad randomizer player club where we all just do seeds together and uh, have fun with this shit. Sailor Moon side scrolling beat 'em up sounds like something I'd want I'd want to play. Now that we can do ROMs, I can I can stream all this shit too because I can do the ROMs on my PC. And this PC can handle streaming and doing ROMs. It just can't do anything else. Yo, Andrew, if you if you need if you need uh. A, 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 if you want me to point you in the right direction with this shit and you want to play rando with us, dude, I fucking, I will talk your ear off about that shit. I have to, I feel like I have to dial myself back because I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to just dump that on people that aren't here for that, you know, but that's cool that you find it interesting. I'll, dude, I'll walk you through it. It's so obscure. It actually took me a year of watching it from the sidelines to be like, Ready? how the fuck do you do And then you need this other thing from Japan? Like, what? <laughs> and then you plug that in and it gives you something that you play? Like, it's it's really cryptic. It's fucking cryptic at first when you get into it, but I'll, ex I'll explain it. I should do like a, uh... there's a reason why people don't make it as easy to understand as possible because it actually like, I think there's a liability factor, and that's why you have to do that, is because otherwise you're sort of skirting copyright, and if they, if Nintendo like got wind of it and really didn't like you, they uh, could give you a super hard time over that shit. But the way that the way that Randomizer is built nice handles all of that. But I think that's why you can't just jump in a Discord and be like, "Give me Rando," like they like that doesn't you can't, you can't it doesn't work like that. You can't like. It's really weird. <laughs> the hot dog was cool, man. I can't believe we did that fucking Master Sword only mirrorless Ganon fight and we won. We finally beat that three crystal hot dog seed. I don't know if you I don't know if I told you, Spanny. I beat that that hard mode Master Sword Ganon fight. It was my first Master Sword Ganon fight. Uh, yeah, the hot dog the hot dog has faded into uh, sweet, sweet memory. We'll never forget our first hot dog. Come on, straighten out for me. Keep going. No! Jeez, I'm so close. I did. I got a bunch of these early, early on. <sighs> Andrew's like, look, you can get it closer, and it still doesn't work. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> the hot dog is now lore. Yeah, and uh, we're not doing another Ganon fight in this seed. We're doing a Triforce hunt. I have the right, I have the one you need, Andrew. I have the no Donatsu 1.1, the one you have to feed it. What, and here's the thing, once you feed the website that shit and it likes it, then you can just click on my links and it'll just work for you. Like what, once you, 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 it bars you from that until you feed it the right ROM, which I think is the, I think that's the copyright wall. I'm not 100% sure but I took a copyright law class in college, and I think I understand why they're doing that. Oh yeah, I'll hit you, I'll give you my, I'll give you the emulator I'm using and everything, I'm using SNES 9X, I'll give you all the fucking files, dude. I, uh, I did the same thing for Punch, and he's off and running.
Can I three wood it? I tried to three wood this last time, didn't I? Maybe not this one, but it was a similar setup. And I whiffed it. Stay up over the sand. Thank you. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> oh god, that was close. <laughs> Once you're set up to it's great, because then you can just click on the link or download the seeds we're using or we're, we're running and then and you could just play along with us and even if you don't here's the thing even if you don't finish it along with us playing along with everybody is the fun part you know and nobody can be everywhere all at once so it's really cool if it's a new thing and you like if you find something that we don't like it's i don't know that's why i like playing along with some of the ones that i watch there's a lot of people that play that there's a lot of like Eastern European play. There's a lot of like when I watch those streams. There's a there's a lot of non-English speaking players, streamers that run Link to the Past Rando. And I, I always think it's really interesting. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by this. Oh shit! No, I got. Why does first T just get away with that? I miss my timing on that every time, and I just got away with it. Uh, just, I'll go. I'll go over it. Uh, well, here you can you can download the emulator pretty easily for your depending on what you're using. If you're on a Mac, I don't want to just send you my shit if you're if you're on if you're not on PC. But go uh, Google SNES 9X. It's the and down and go to the emulator website. There's a there's a very sort of like early 2000s website that you'll probably have fun navigating. But it's pretty easy to find the uh, the build you need for for your system. But yeah, get get the emulator, and then if you get that emulator, I posted the ROM that I generated. So you, if you don't mind playing as Peach, you can just download that right now and start playing it. But if you want to change your sprites, you have to use the link. So if you just want to get an emulator working right now, Google SNES 9X. Well, no, you're fucking playing golf with us right now. So don't do that right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, go do this shit. He's like, I'm literally on the golf course with you. I'm like, oh, yeah. So, oh, okay, yeah. Not. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, go Google, go go Google that. Download that emulator. And then there's an SFC file in my Discord that you can download. That's the new Triforce Hunt seed. Triforce Hunt is going to be an interesting first, like very first, out the gate rando. But it's in beginner mode. Like nothing's inaccessible out of logic, no glitches are required. So, it's fully playable right out of the box. Nice you got an Albi on Blustery Basin 13 on World Rank? No way, dude. That hole that we just played, that everybody eagled. Seriously, congrats, Sean. Sean is hitting um, those big shots that you get once in a blue, blue moon. And he, he albied, you albied, what is it, 6, 13 on, uh, rookie in world rank, by the way. Very difficult stuff to do. Those, those are shots that you hit once, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sean, when the, Sean, when the... When the, when the, when the, when the, when the, 12, it was 12, yeah, fucking hole one on a par 5, double condor, that'll draw a crowd, that will, that will draw a crowd, left shift is the only thing that's going to get me out of this, I didn't mean to crank that down so hard. Right on, dude. Sounds good, Andrew. It's it's cool to have another. I don't know. For some reason, I think it seems obscure. Ooh, Tangelo. Ouch. Whew. Wow, Tangelo. Go on. But for some reason, I think the way that your mind works with the game—it's a cool game. I don't know. For some reason, I think it it balances a lot of areas of my brain that are left missing when I'm playing golf. So while Zelda and golf don't feel like they go together, for some reason I feel like it's just uh oh I almost followed you in on that tinge. 
I just feel like they go, I, I, I don't know. When you've been doing one for a while, it's nice to go do the other and vice versa. I don't know, I, I, for some reason I think I'm onto something, so I keep doing it. <laughs> you play through Link to the Past all the time? It's comfort food, right? It's just playing through it is like comfort food. That's why I really like doing my speed run with Punch. It's like I just get to play through the light world. That's what, that's what Little Graveyard used to like doing. I can do those fake flippers now, which is really cool for the beginner seeds because a lot of stuff are a lot of stuff is kept in logic. So nothing that you really, really need will be kept behind like locked areas. But stuff that you need for later might be in those locked areas and you can use it early and like really get ahead. So if you can like do a simple thing like fake flippers, which I just learned how to do and Gizarro's we're doing it all over the place and it's like Gives you access to some shit that kind of sometimes in rando maybe makes the game easier. And I'm not really a runner, but it is fun to compare times. And that's sort of, I guess, what we're doing for today. Okay. Here comes Andrew. Setting up over top of that wind. Let's see what his shaping looks like. It's a little saucy. This is a tough putt. If you actually want to take this putt from any distance, this is a tough putt. He's going to jank this. Now going for the chip. This one hard. This one I, I actually see not drop on the jank a lot. Like it just uh, it just lands right next to it. <laughs> He's like, don't. <laughs> That's my lunch. <laughs> yeah, right on, dude. I'm a tier four. I'm a tier four. I'm still I'm still allowed to do that without shame. But I only usually do like one a match. I'm not I'm not like looking for them. But if I'm in a tough spot, I'll fucking do it. I don't care. Beautiful. Oh man, dude. Seriously. From a short game guy, from one short game guy to another, that putt was really, really nice. For the chair. Doing it for the chair. Ready? Here we are on 17. Whoo! That was a nice putt, dude. I'm gonna do a dab for that putt after this 18 hole. We played 36 holes tonight so far. After this match. I'm doing a I'm doing a dab for that. <laughs> Jank, nah. I'm good, bro. I'm good. Ooh, we get in this tree. Do we avoid? Oh yeah, at least we avoid the bushes. And I get to, I get to hit a baby penguin in the head with my sand with my approach wedge. <laughs> sand wedge, yeah. I gotta use the sand wedge on you, baby penguin. I'm sorry. The sound of your soft skull. All right, I have the throw on this. Oh gosh, that's significant. Holy shit! Didn't really expect it to do that. One would have been enough if that was what it was gonna do. Yikes, dude! I thought I was gonna just go right up in the air and I have to hit the green for this to think about going. Nope. Standard spin, nice. but a little bit too early on that. Shit. Sitting here at a 15 under, off to 18. What did I put up last time? Yeah, this is, I'm doing a little bit worse. Ready? And these two are fucking slaying. In, e in this, this, yeah, this ELO match, Andrew is gonna attempt to take some points from the big man. Tangelo is playing hard and holding on to uh, a really respectable rank out there. After the ELO reset, the ELO reset is kind of the most exciting thing that's happened in rank for a minute. It's really showing everybody what, like, who's who and what's what. And these guys are not to be discounted. 
Whew, I'm cutting that pretty close. <laughs> Tan, Tan just like, ah ha ha, nice. <laughs> ah ha ha, nice. Perfectly flat lie, best shot at it. I'm gonna, I, is the standard spin the wrong idea here? I feel like I've been putting them in the wrong place each time. Oh, I like my run at that. Andrew! Andrew! Nice. Almost, almost making Sanj, <laughs> like, adding insult to injury. Tan does have to take a second place there. Andrew Morris with a 25 under on these settings for the, the circle gurgle blustery basin match. It's a beautiful first place in Elo, my man. Tangela with a close second, myself in a, in a, a humble but noble third. GG's. GG's. Smooth match. I mean, I'm in my range 17 under, 19 under. Gosh, I'd love to take this up to 22, but if I'm practicing around here, I'm okay with it. Um, but still, these guys are showing up on a tough course. It's cool to see. It's really cool to see. If you didn't play like a fool on 10, you would have tied him. What happened on, uh, what? I forget what happened on 10. Was that your par? You played fantastic. Tangelo is such a fun golfer to play with. He's so competitive and fierce, but he's so cool and friendly. Uh, that's that's what I like. That's what sets. A, that's what makes me think a golfer is like not only very cool but very very good at the game. Is when you can tell that their attitude points in that direction. Like um, sometimes when somebody's really really fussy or frustrated over the game, it's like yeah, you may have you may have skill, but the form may be lacking. Tangelo and Andrew have. Both. And mass. <laughs> classic classic tang always messes up one hole. Yeah. I'll take you on that for three or four. <laughs> but I'm not mad at my uh, my setups. I got that nice eagle on um what was it thirteen? I got a nice eagle on on that that nine wood shot. Right before Spenny DC'd, right? I love getting to play with Tange. I love getting to play with Tange. Sometimes I can beat him on Spiky. If things go bad for him. <laughs> if things go really poorly for Tange, I can I can get a win on him on Spiky. Not out here though. He looks good on the basin. You do not look like you have uh or you you got like a one trick thing going on here, Tange. You found zombies ate your neighbors? What? Yeah, if you find cool ROMs, I should make a ROMs channel in my Discord. That sounds like a great way to get my Discord flagged and banned. <laughs> if you find a cool one, let me know, Myung. I, uh, I have that hole-in-one golf in there. That one's a fun game. That's a fun-ass game to play. Um... I've had some weird DOS platformers like Jane, Jane of the Jungle. My mom used to play Jane of the Jungle on uh, the PC on like Windows 3.1. It was like a weird platformer. It's called, I think it's called Jane of the Jungle. Um, man. Okay, so uh, yeah, Zombies is great too. I gotta. I. I I'm looking for a, like a full ass comprehensive list of like every game on this NES, and then I'll try and go like find the uh, the one that I if I if one like jars my memory. But I have that Zelda Link to the Past sequel that was only released in Japan, that Ancient Stone Tablets, and I have the weird hacked translated fixed ROM so that we can play it in English. That's gonna be something that I do coming up here, maybe after this next seed. I'll do a, a little bit of a different episodal thing, and we'll play that stone tablets because I might I might be bad at it. Who knows? Goof troop, yeah. 
Groove Troop Mario Paint. This one that was like always around. Earthworm Jim. Like Earthworm Jim 1. I had that on Super Nintendo. So. And that game's fucking hard, dude. That game is not an easy play. Should I try and play uh, Super Ghosts and Goblins? Don't answer that. I'll be right back. Yo, Illusions of Gaia was my shit, dude. I had that cartridge. Oh my god, I forgot about that. We gotta play Illusions of Gaia. Yeah, dude. I love that game. That game's hard in the late game, and the music is amazing.
And we're back. Thanks for being patient with me, as always. I think I'm gonna do one more golf game and then uh, I'll head off to Hyrule, but Andrew's farming points, dude. He's like, you're playing ELO, I'm out here for it. I've got a room up with no password, so anybody that's hanging out, lurking, chilling, wants to pop in for another Blustery Basin, feel free to do that. Oh, the base, oh my gosh, thank you for reminding me. Holy shit, I completely forgot. Punch, are you still here? I think he is. Yo. <coughs> this is perfect. I just did a huge dab. I'm gonna go get my base. We're gonna try this new setup out with the base. I gotta see if this works, dude. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let me let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Sounds perfect, man. I got this all set up. The room, if the room dies, I'll start it up again. test because we're testing a lot right now I think I can do this though if I set this up properly I can just spin this into position and lose the chair Freak out. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Oaf. Oh, Ooh, it's a little it's a little tight, but <laughs> that's a hilarious fit. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. Okay. Why does it crash Twitch on my phone every time I open Discord? Dude, my phone crashed today for the first time. And I'm like, man, I was really hoping that I have an era with this new phone where that didn't happen, but I don't know, man. I know, I, I feel your pain, dude. Let's put up a, uh, a slightly cooler <laughs> image here. <clears throat> okay. I worked my audio a little differently too, so I think it's still coming through nice.
It's alright if you love me. It's alright if you don't. I'm not afraid of you running away. Now I've got a feeling you won't. It's only you still pretending. Your eyes give you away. Something inside got you feeling like I do. And you've said all there is to say. Baby, break down. Go ahead and give it to me. Break down, honey. Take me through the night. Break down. Can't you see I'm standing here? Break down. It's alright. It's alright. How could you just leave me standing? Alone in a world so cold Maybe I'm just too demanding Maybe I'm just like my father Too bold Maybe I'm just like my mother She's never satisfied How can we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry, baby, break down, go ahead and give it to me, break down, honey, and take me through the night, break down, break down, can't you see I'm standing there, break down, it's alright, it's alright. Tom Petty Prince post dub mashup. Both artists truly are. Awesome. A Draco and Sean match? Nice. I'll have to. I'll have to tell. Uh, I think Punch might be sleeping. I'm doing his redeem. <laughs> I'm doing his redeem while he's asleep. What am I doing? Uh, all right, I got the bass out. I think this works. It sounds pretty cool. It's uh, it's the intermissions uh, for SRGL week one regular season. We don't uh, Nabisco. Come on, look at the clubhouse. We don't. We don't. We don't spare any expense to pull out all the stops, man. We got an upright bass player <laughs> kicking jazz tunes in between golf matches. This is like high quality. This is a high level DGen gaming shit. You got to get in on this. Starlink, Nabisco, sponsor the golf. What am I going to play next? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, let me do that portal song that I've been trying to get. I'm going to remember how it goes. while since I've done this one, so I hope I get the words right. The 
this was a triumph I'm making a note here Huge success It's hard to overstate my satisfaction I bet you science We do what we must because we can For the good of all of us Except the ones who are dead But there's no sense crying over every mistake Just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive not even angry I'm being so sincere right now even though you broke my heart and killed me I'm torn into pieces and you threw every piece into a fire as they burned it hurt because I was so happy for you And now these points of data make a beautiful line And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time And I'm glad I got burned, think of all the things we learned For the people who are still alive Go ahead and leave her. Yeah. Go ahead and leave me. I think I'd prefer to stay inside. Maybe you'll find someone else to help you. Maybe Black Mesa. That was a joke. Ha ha. Fat chance. And anyway, this cake is great, it's so delicious and moist. And look at me still, look at me still talking while there's science to do. When I look out there, it makes me glad I'm not you. Have experiments to run, there is research to be done on the people who are still alive. And believe me, I am still alive. I feel fantastic and I'm still alive I'm doing science and I'm still alive Still alive Still alive <laughs> It's I'm a little out of key but <laughs> it's okay Glados Glados wouldn't care she would just like that I did it I usually do three songs for Redeem. Do I have another song ready? I have to think. I know a lot of them, but if you don't remember them right away, they're hard to like. <laughs> they're hard to get going. Um, dupe, derp, did it alert, derp. Welcome to the coffee shop. We're hanging out. Big Redeem, punch, punch threw down a huge Redeem, so I'm playing a couple songs. Spenny was thinking about this too, though. Should tune my bass. The clouds so swift on. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> the clouds so swift, oh, the ring won't lift, the gate won't close, and the rail is froze. Get your mind off of winter time, babe, cause you ain't going nowhere. Oh, we only ride me high, tomorrow's the day, my bride's gonna come off at home. Oh, we're gonna 
smile down in the chair. I don't care how many letters they send, baby. The morning came and the morning went. You pack up your money and you pick up your tent, baby. Cause you ain't going nowhere. Oh, William, you ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come. Oh, no, now oh, we're gonna fly home. Down in the easy chair. Buy me a flu, honey, and gun that shoots and tailgates and uh, substitutes. And you strap yourself to those trees with roots, babe, cause you ain't going nowhere. Oh, oh you ride me high up to my boots today. My bride's gonna come home and hold oh, no, we're gonna fly. Down in the easy chair one more time on a hoe. You ride me high. Tomorrow's the day my bride's gonna come on now. Hold on, we're gonna fly down in the easy chair. Little easy chair. To finish off the night, I'm doing uh, <laughs> I'm doing. I just, I'm just gonna lean into my. I don't even know who, who I'm. Who I'm supposed to sound like. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing there. It's it okay there. A little bass redeem from uh, my friend Mario. Punch. Oh shit, man. That worked out okay. It's kind of a. It makes the space a little bit tighter, and everything sort of like gets caught on everything else now. But kind of works. That kind of worked. Kind of like half worked. Fuck yeah, dude. Can kind of get in and out pretty easy. I uh, Soul Blazer, yeah, Killer Instinct. We gotta get Net Play working if we're gonna do Killer Instinct, dude. Some of that like Super Nintendo Killer Instinct. That pixel art looks like such garbage, but it's it's so good. Oh man, I um, I love music. I'm not really doing my act right now, so. My only performance, you guys are the only ones that are seeing me perform. Um, I'm glad you, I'm glad you like that, Ginger. That's, uh, that's a lot of what I was doing like so much of a couple of years ago. I was like, I was performing so much and now I'm not, I'm not doing hardly any of it. Yeah, you can always just do it on your end too. It just honestly, it's a cool thing for a Twitch channel too, Lady Beyond. Like I'm thinking about like all of it, and I'm like, I like watching this stuff. Why not? Like retro games go really good on Twitch, so you should maybe find. I mean, find one that you love, and you should stream it. I'm, I'd I'd be there watching like immediately, dude. Immediately. Oh yeah, you got to try them out though. ROMs are notorious for being kind of well, little, little janky. Oh man, I love singing and playing music for you guys. 
<clears throat> I haven't sung, I, so I feel like I'm not quite on key. But you, if you sing a few times, if I if I sung a few different times, I'd, I'd I'd get back to that. But yo, yeah, I think uh, it's probably screwed. It's probably disbanded my room. No, is my room still here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I thought it might kick me, but we are totally. Still here. Thanks for the redeem punch. I think you're uh you might be sleeping, but you're out there somewhere. It'll be in the VOD for for you. Playing on the keyboard does suck, dude. Andrew, do what I did, dude. <laughs> Go on eBay, get yourself in some original SNES hardware, and then get the $15 SNES port to USB and Yo, this thing has changed my life, dude. Thank you. I appreciate that, Slick. I haven't really, I didn't even warm up. That was just me. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even warm up and pick out a solo. I was just playing. I am so, uh, I feel like I'm out of practice, but in an instrument that speaks to you, it's, I love that I can play that for you guys because I feel like, sometimes I feel like I suck, but sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm half decent. I'm so glad you guys enjoy it. That's uh, I'm I'm so glad about that. The keyboard is usable though. <clears throat> if you have to, uh, if you can, yeah, some people could just do that. I remember I had a I had like an old copy of like a bunch of weird games, and they were all like I had the PC port of Tomb Raider as a kid because I didn't have a PlayStation, and I remember trying to play the original Tomb Raider with a keyboard and mouse, and it was like, it made me hate the game. People were like, no, this game is, this game is good, this is a good game, and I'm like, you can't be serious, this game is unplayable. It was that weird, the PC port just didn't sit well. Oh man, you know what is sitting well is this fucking chair. Like this chair. The Sonic games on the keyboard to work. Yeah, right? The chair. This is all... I mean, the chair... And the setup is great. The chair sort of got out of the way. When I spin it to the side, it gets out of the way. The chair is being very cooperative. This is... This is... I think I selected the right chair. It's like I never sat in a fucking chair in my life. I know, right? It's like, it doesn't take a lot to make me... Uh... Elated. <laughs> I got up to do a dab, and I was like, Man, my knees don't hurt. My butt doesn't hurt. Like... This is like, <laughs> this is like, uh, I can see why people sit in chairs when they stream on Twitch. Why did I ever not ha want a chair? Because I was standing. I was a standing streamer. Do you remember that? When I was like exclusively standing. I was like a, <laughs> like a weatherman. <laughs> I remember playing like Bowser Highlands after Bowser Highlands after Bowser Highlands, just like standing, and like Dirty was there, and like, like oh, this was this was two years ago. Dude, I feel like just be it's it's I'm I don't know if my stream is set up for this. Like I'm like leaning back, and I'm like, am I still on screen? <laughs> used to, I'm used to like, and then I kind of got sick of standing after like six months of doing that, and uh, but I don't really. I mean, I live I live like a fucking hobo. I'm trying to turn this house into I've been trying to turn this condemned shack into a house for a couple of years now and like I don't have that I just don't have that much. Um I never have. <laughs> and I, but I have these two I have these stools and I put one stool in front of it and uh I would just sit on that and that was great. I was like, "Oh, this is nice. I don't have to stand." But in actuality it was not nice. In actuality it sucked and I just didn't even realize. But if anybody wants to join, feel free to pop in. I'm gonna, I'll fire this up in just a second. <laughs> but this, this is the bee's knees, my dude. Not only is it so accurate and so cool, but it feels like <sighs> having this controller in my hand is like a pacifier. <laughs> It's like a pacifier. You could redeem yourself. 
I, uh, so, uh, you want more base? You're gonna do another base for me? <laughs> Oh, you could, oh yeah, you could just join. Yeah, yeah, you're here. He's here for it. Yeah, let's do Let's do one more blustery before we uh, we head off to Hyrule. This is, we're right on time, about, about 4 a.m. Easter, and we'll see what the fuck I can do here. Fifty-four holes of golf for practice on blustery. It's, it's... On Blustery, they're they're 54 long holes. <laughs> it sounds like a couple people are gonna attempt the full tour in February. I Gizarro officially said that he wanted to attempt he wanted to grind world rank and get as high of a rank as he could, and then at the end of the month he's gonna do a full tour. Is it it's back normal? Um, and then I know Sandals is also planning on grinding world rank in February and wants to take number one. If she wants, if she wants a month at one, which is so ambitious, but she can do it. It's a rank match, folks. GLHF. I love playing golf with you guys. Regular season, week one. Plus ELO reset. Now 20% more. Why not try to get ELO one? <laughs> I mean, some things... Some things just aren't possible, you know what I mean? Some things are... Well, actually, what do you think is more difficult, getting World Rank 1 or ELO Rank 1? I think they're kind of equally difficult. I actually thought, for some reason, Knee Jerk, I thought one would be easier than the other, but now that I think about that, I kind of don't think that anymore. Ooh, this is a nasty, nasty win for this. Miong, I'm so glad we're playing golf together. This is so fun. Is your is your safe room still safe? <laughs> Myung was streaming and there was like there was noise. There's like noise outside and she's like, I'm not going out there. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean outside? She's like, outside the room. There's noise. I was like, well close the door and don't go out there. <laughs> she's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to take this is a shitty chip. Nice. Oh, I overcorrected. Jeez. Or you need to hunt lots and lots of lesser golfers. Very specifically. <laughs> Somehow. I don't even actually know how to do that. <clears throat> or how I would do that. Because you have to play the matches that come up. Our ladder really should assign matches. I would love if it did that. Like you would you would you would have it assign matches for like 9:30 or something. You won't get enough points if you do that, really? Don't you get 5 points minimum for a win? A lot of this is really just memorizing the patterns that you want to use for this shit. Ooh, that's three down there. Is that going to work? You want to be really far down there. Is that kick left? No, we're in trouble. Uh-oh. One point, really? I thought it used to, I think, well, maybe it's because I've always been so low level that I always take five no matter what. <clears throat> One point, wow, yeah, you can't stay in the, in the woods hunting wolves or boars. We stay in the woods hunting boars. 
and we'll eventually we'll get high enough level. Like that one South Park episode. Oh geez, did I actually? I thought I was okay. I thought I was okay. I hit the fucking bush. Hey, yo, you wanna come back? Come back on the screen. No, you wanna go gorge yourself? Yuck. I should put top spin on that. Still, uh, all right. In a match that could cost you forty if you lose. That's yeah. That's like the whole thing about it, right? <laughs> that's why it works. Yeah, it's almost like oh, that's a little. That's a lot of power in tailwind. Yeah, that would have worked too. Um, yeah, it's a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of work to do it in world rank too, but. Rough putt for bogey. <laughs> and you only took first last January because Draco took a month off. And you timed it with the month that he was going to take off. <clears throat> and you got one. And you didn't sleep that much that month either, Sean. Did you? That was really hard. It's not like you didn't have competition. Who was on your ass that month? Cat? It was Cat Deluxe basically hustling against you that month. Yeah, Tangela's not fucking around anymore. Tangela's not fucking around. That eagle on two. Jeez. Make this one. I gotta start making some of these count. <laughs> Keep going. The line is perfect. It's just snowing. It's hard to get that any closer and still put a run on it. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an okay shot. I need, to, I need to make something crazy to get back in time here. It's only hole three. It's only hole three. It's only three. Oh no, did Miong? Oh, she was the one in the bunker there. I was gonna say, for some reason, I thought that was Andrew. Uh, Miong gets out of the sand, but has to pay for it. And, and, and we're, we're gonna sit in it, Miong. We have to sink in and just sit in it here with each other. <laughs> oh man, did I pay out that pred last time? No, probably not. Um, oh no, I did. I paid it out. It's Miong and Tange and myself and Andrew for the teams. You've got five minutes on this pred. The match has already started. You did that with the pitching wedge last time, right on. Cat and you, uh, Cat was one and you took it from her, but you started uh, five days late into the month. Oh man, so you really had to work with that. It takes so much to come back from oh, five, even five days is too much. It takes too much to come back from that. I get the power headed through this. Uh, but we do actually get a we, we do get the worst case scenario here. Hard to time that for a long shot like that that might get in the tree and might not. Gee, what do you do here? Um, the wind's on your side if you want to overestimate the bunker. 
Let's do it with the three wood. What do you say? Did it not hit the, uh, that had to have hit the bush. Still, I didn't really think that it would go that far. It's so much. When you think about what has to be done to get that shit going, it's not a... Uh, it's not, it's just so hard to fathom how Draco does it all the time, every single month. It's like, how do you do it, dude? Young has to take a birdie there too, and the teams are pretty fair. <laughs> Getting some sleep, get some rest, uh, Ginger. I'm gonna play a little bit of Zelda after this, but probably not as much, and I'll be back. I'll be back tomorrow to tackle full-on seed stuff for uh, for Friday night. It's Friday night, Friday night Triforce hunt tomorrow. But we're gonna start it tonight. Sleep well. Good night to you. I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow, too. This one feels like 18. They treat it the same way. <laughs> That's your good night, Eagle, Snap. That's your good night, Eagle. <laughs> the chair. Power of the chair. Yo, Juju. Um, that's the, that's the chair, dude. <laughs> yeah, Juju was on that shit at the beginning of the season. He, he held it, you held it for good chunks. Juju was holding it for like eight hour chunks at a time. And then Sean would come in at night. But that wasn't during Sean's 24 hour streams, like, era, was it? When Sean was streaming like 17 hours a day. <laughs> Not like every, every single day. Thank you, Andrew. Alright, with the conditions, I don't think I have enough to get up on the green the way that I did last time, but just run the shot. That was December. That wasn't oh so long ago. Was it? We don't quite get there, but I'm right here with Tanj. Oh, and he stops on that fast icy fairway and has to has to roll down i'm gonna try this a little bit differently i'm gonna, I'm gonna use the seven iron on this thing and try and uh <laughs> i see you tange i see you i did it before him too <laughs> Oh, I thought he dunked it. I thought that was his ball. I thought he dunked it. Oh my. <laughs> Bangerang, baby. <laughs> Don't give me the stiff lip over that, Teresa. You know, I work my own magic sometimes. Dude, it's the chair. How could it not be the chair? <laughs> How could it not be the chair? I, I wish uh, it would not take much to track those stats either, Sean. I want those. I want those too. I really want those stats too. But we just we just don't get them. It's hard. It's hard for us. This is why we talk about this a lot because it's very hard. It's very hard for us because all of the things to do the to do the things that we want are like right there. Like if we 
how many gamers have said this? If I could just direct the dev team and do it with like no time, be fine. I'm doing this with a seven iron. This is the wrong club. Uh, I think I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Gosh, I hit that with the wrong club. Damn it. Oh, that's not enough. He's not even gonna get out of the fucking sand. Oh, barely. Oh, jeez. I wanted to. Be that was a real. There wasn't a lot of room to do that. Yeah, I have actually a run at it too. Well, I blew what could have been an easy recovery there. If you could put one person from the MGSR Discord on the team for the game, who would it be? Do I understand this? I don't know if I understand what you're asking, Slick. It sounds cool, though. <laughs> Mion goes to her dark corner. Don't go, don't go too deep into the dark corner. I, um, I want to play Zelda with you, but I also want you to, <laughs> I want you to post a picture of your Pikachu sprite. Because this, this particular seed, the colors, the color shuffle on this seed is weird. Like, the light world looks like the dark world, and the dark world looks like a weird rave world. Uh, there's a lot of pink, but there's a lot of, like, dingy, the colors in the light world are really, like, dingy in this seed. So I think, uh... I think your Pikachu is perfect. It's gonna be very bright peach as well. Oh, on the dev team to make some changes to the game. Um, Dirty always has really like doable. Dirty likes to temper his ideas into things that might actually be able to get done. So I'd put Dirty 69 on the team without hesitation. Without hesitation, he would know exactly what to work on first to get all the easy shit done that we need and have that published, and then. If anything was left in the budget, he'd work on the hard stuff. I, uh, I know that he would understand what would need to be done, like, right away. Huge hugs, Mion, from my chair. I hug from the chair, from the cozy waffle chair. Be a hard call, though. Mississippi Chippy would be a great, uh, a great, uh, you know, actually, maybe Knuckle Puck. Actually, KP would be would be a great uh, would be a great choice too. All right, we'll be pretty far back here. Somebody already takes out the pokey for us. That looks like Miyong. She's like, "You're welcome. No prob." Okay with that. I'm okay with that. A little less power. That's right on the money, dude. We've got uh, Tange in the sand on the far bunker. Nyong with a roll just on the edge of the fringe. She keeps the fairway for a tough putt uphill here. Tange got blown, perhaps, right at the end of that. I'm in like a nice, easy runway. Nice, nice look at that pin, Tange. It's not quite, not quite there. It's a tough, it's a tough chip. You see, these not, everything's possible in this game, but even the best look at things and they, like, to make a decision on the fly, that's what I love about this game. Rookie course and everything is great, I but I love how there's lots of different ways to play the game. Blustery Basin is a problem-solving, critical thinking. You can't sleepwalk through this course. I only got you by a stroke, so take it as a win. I saw Miong tie Draco the other night on her stream, I think. That was really cool. Oh, it, it does go down there. I think I'm still okay. I'm gonna have a shitty lie, but... Oh, Peach. She's really getting... 
up to her knees, really up to her crown in mud here. Why don't we still use the nine wood? Because we're feeling saucy. Oh, nope. Maybe you should have just let that run. That's something, I'm having deja vu. I think I did this exact same thing last uh, hole on these, on like what feels like the exact same pin. Right? Oh. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna sit here and act like I meant to do that. Stop rolling. Oh my gosh, fringe. Okay, fine. Fine. I actually want to practice this. I'm gonna look at that straight up blue line. I'm just gonna double count the wind. There's a lag here. It's backspin, it might not go. Yes! 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 Okay, that's awesome practice for me, dude, because what I'm trying to do there is read four mile an hour wind. I clicked eight times into that. Not for any other reason, but because the line was bright blue and it's gonna spend more time in the air, so the wind's gonna affect it more. That's like kind of a real read success there because it was it was totally flat. It was a really nice opportunity to practice that and get it right. Thank you, dude. It's tough to practice that stuff and like you never like getting it right is really nice because you can prove to yourself that like you're okay with your knowledge. I'm gonna wait on my timing. I, these guys are early. I'm not Hopefully that's enough in 20 mile an hour wind. You never know with this freaking wind. The peach can shape and get a hold of that wind. You really make, make good work of it. Umiyong going for the chip. Hits the rough in that in 20 mile an hour. Didn't want to go for the rough putt. I couldn't see the grid. Probably not. Probably no bueno. Let's give it a shot. Let's take our, our favorite tee box route. We have the, the weather for it. Everything looks good here. Standard spin, no top spin. We should put ourselves right down on the tee box. It's perfect. Textbook. Tanj looking right at it as well. Tanj doesn't have the bush in his view. He knows what he's doing. I know that's overpowered, but I'm really gonna try and master this spin here. Oh no! Oh, it's right there. Everything about that would have worked. Tanja's on the right hand side of that too, dude. Myong coming in fast and low. Much more correct than us. Same run on it though. Looking good, Myong. looking long chip from Andrew here. I took two strokes back quick on that. Not the best front nine. We should make it there with no shaping. I hit right in the center of this thing. Top spin sends it forward on the hit. It's better to do it that way. More predictable.
I kind of wanted one on the end of that, but I think the wind is going to do it for me. It's fine. Myong looks so good for that. Dude, nice shot. The chair. I think the chair helps my short game, dude. Did I get it in before the lag spike? <laughs> Andrew's in trouble here. Neong has cleared the green. Looking at a nine mile an hour headwind. Right in her hair. A lot of sand and snow. Swirling around down there, it can be tough to focus on your, uh, your surroundings. It can be, uh, <laughs> it can be, it can be hard to focus. It's not simple at all. Oh, did he get kicked? Oh no, he's just. Taking his time with it. Probably best, actually. Look at that. Two seconds on the clock. Two seconds on the clock. Take, he took his time. He waited He waited as long as he could to make sure the lag was as... La yeah. No, I think you did that right. You, wait, you gave yourself the best chance at as little lag as possible. And uh, at least it wasn't a bogey, you know? I still keep, like, getting away with that. I think uh, T1 doesn't have to worry about that. Give it one end of the wind there, bring it down a little early, try and just catch the top of that slope on the right hand side. That's where I want to be. I'm moving a little bit too quick though. Yeah, backspin would have been a much better option there. This ought to run. It's a nice day. Yo, Will, what's going on, dude? I am doing fantastic. I'm sitting in a chair for the first time on stream ever. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Andrew's coming in uh, hot there. Where were you at? He hits that from much further back on the fairway than we were. Although I, I put myself down a little bit closer to that bunker than I normally do. I've been practicing Blustery Basin all night, doing ELO, and... Uh, not doing the worst. I'm actually, I'm actually putting, putting balls in cups out here. The last couple of matches. How is your evening going, Will? Doing, doing stuff at the house. Word. I'm enjoying uh, being done with a lot of like the big repair stuff for now. Knock on wood. But I could stand to clean this place. <laughs> it's a little dusty. I, uh, I've been slacking off because <clears throat> I worked on shit all summer. Like, I just built this bathroom. How can it be dirty? Is the wind enough? It's a decent plan. Chair. The power of the chair. The power of the chair. Ah. Chair. Woo! I'm hitting. I'm hitting these eagles. Woo! <laughs> oh no, Miong in dire straits down here at the bottom of the sand hole. Oh man, I see you, Andrew. I'm coming for you. 
Look at the points. I want them tasty ELO points. Super back's been nice. Great recovery, Myung. Imagine if I hadn't bogeyed, I'd be ahead of Andrew on the back nine. It's really something. How many bogeys did I take? One and three pars. <laughs> It's the nine wood with really good shift from Peach here. Be a little bit downhill of it. I was gonna say that's the one where you don't have to worry about the fan, right? Right? A little bit underpowered here, but we're in the zone, baby. We are on that carrier. Yeah, I could stand to uh Go around with the shop back and clean this place up. It's cold, man. I'm happy that I'm warm. I'm really happy that I can I can finally close this place up and keep it warm in here. I haven't been able to do that kind of ever. Really cool, man. So I'll worry about, I'll really, I'll really worry about cleaning this joint <laughs> come spring. Miss Dottie D, so much love! Gravy biscuit, gravy, 34 corb, gravy, gravy 34 biscuit. corb, gravy, 34 corb. Gravy biscuit! I would love a gravy biscuit. Ooh, gravy biscuit. Ooh, gravy biscuit. I, uh, so many gravy biscuits of love, Miss Dottie D. Thank you so much for the 14 months. Welcome to the, welcome back to the graveyard. You haven't left. We hang out all the time. How's it going, Miss Buddy D? Hope your night's going well. I have been not actually torturing myself. I've been playing Blustery Basin tonight, but it's been okay. I've been uh I've actually been doing half decent. This might be my best match yet. We'll see after seventeen after killer seventeen here. I, um, the strain of weed that I'm smoking right now is called buttermilk biscuits, so that great gravy biscuit, gravy biscuit is, like, apropos for certain. I am well. I, did I, uh, I posted a picture of the chair. I got this chair. I'm sitting on a chair for the first time ever on stream. Uh, it's, like, a wide bottom chair so I can sit cross-legged in it. It's, like, wider than normal, and I, like, I, uh, fucking, I'm... I'm already experiencing the benefits, the the posturepedic, the orthopedic benefits of what we're talking about. I'm already I'm already experiencing that. I didn't need the super backspin there, but I just I just did it. I just did it. Give me the flag. No? Okay. Uh, biscuits sound amazing. It's so great, dude. It's like a hot it's like hot buttered biscuits. It's really, it's really like that. It, it conjures the strain, conjures up all of that, that loveliness. So yeah, it's it's really nice. It's, it's a little bit like it's really relaxing, but it's satiating. But it's I have to be I have to be careful. I do because I, I want to do big dabs, but because it's so delicious. But you can get a little sleepy if you do that. Miang has a tough putt. I had an easy putt. Miang has a tough putt here. The cats woke you up by walking on your face, so you popped in to check in. Hell yeah! This is my last golf match of the night, Dottie. I'm going to move over to crazy, rando Zelda. We're playing Zelda as Princess Peach now, so the next uh, the next seed has been generated, and we'll have we'll have some cool Zeldu Zeldu Valley coming up. The Legend of Zeldu Valley coming up. Lovely for uh, <laughs> for sleep, study, work, chill, relax vibes. Here we are on 18. I'm getting a little bit better at throwing this weird strat. Her chair, uh, Lady Myung's chair, is an old school lazy boy recliner that only uh, the back reclines and it has a stool and the dog gets the stool. Oh, that's so cool. 
That's awesome. I, the new room, I'll have a little bit more leg room, but I'm happy with what I've sort of said. Oh, cool, big Cooligan hit. I had a lovely run right out of the fringe on that. And we still have a good line. Big, fat Cooligan hat. Um, but yeah, I've sort, I've sort of made this little, this little cave. I, I've curved the green screen around it, and it's better for the light, but I've sort of made this, like, closed-in little cave with my monitors and my de my little table thingy and the, the cat thing. So I've got everything I need, but it's like I'm in this little cloister. <laughs> and uh, it's nice. I don't. I actually like it a lot. Like, it makes me feel really comfy. I'm, like, driving my spaceship. But the couch, I like, the couch and the recline, like, I have a couch that uh, the cat sleeps on, and I always thought, I was like, man, if I put the green screen behind that, I could just sit on the couch, but I don't think that would be as comfortable as the chair, because the couch is like, you can't, it's not, it's not like, it's not like that. Ooh, that's not going to drop so quick for me. Ah, I'm off, oh, I'm in the fridge, just barely. It's nice, dude, I, I... It's nice. This place, this place, they were they were gonna bulldoze this place, dude. And finally, I've been it's been very cold for a very long time, but finally it's warm and nice. Make that putt up the hill and get that 19 under that I've been looking for all night. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. GG. Yo, GG, man. Seriously, nice win, Andrew. Nice win. I'll take uh, I'll take a third in the Elo match. Tangelo gets to report a first there, harvesting some points. Myong hits. Hit, Myong hit a lot of bunkers on that one, and uh, she played it well. It just that will that will affect your score. <laughs> but she played it well, and playing it well and learning how to play it well is like half of this course, dude. And you did that, Neon, so just know you rock and you did it awesome. That's I I hit some really nice I got a I got a nineteen under with a bogey on that. If I could hit I hit those Eagles. That was a great scorecard. That was a great scorecard. Oh, is that was the music off the whole time? Oh it should. It's when when the OBS glitches and I can't see my one meter. I sort of have to fly blind. Man. What a great match, dude. What a great match. Oh, man. I took a couple of thirds. I'll lose points tonight on the ladder for sure, but... Those were some hot matches, dude. Those were three hot matches. Those were three really nice ones. I was if I hadn't been making the mistakes early, Andrew, I could have been a stroke on you at the end of that, which would have netted me like probably a I don't even know. A lot. It would I would have gotten a lot of points for that. That would have been cool. I was darn close. I was close enough. I was close enough. Right? You're right, Will. We we are lucky enough to play with the best players actively playing in the world. And if I can get within a few strokes of them, doesn't that make me... I mean, it doesn't make me one of them, but... I don't know. <laughs> you have to remember that you're not playing your peers. You're playing... You're playing... Some OG motherfuckers. <laughs> you get to eliminate the mistakes, too. Oh, no, I'm not eliminating my mistakes. I do not... Everything counts. Everything counts. You win, dude. Download that emulator. Uh, the ROM is in the ALTTP randomizer channel on my Discord, but I'll I'll make sure. Uh... Oh yeah, we should be able to do mulligans. I'll make sure that you have what you need to to generate your own seeds and to play via link with ours too, because then you can you can change all your settings on your end. But you can grab that Peach ROM and just play it. That's the one we're playing right now. So you're like on track. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'm gonna fire up on a little bit of that. But I don't know how much I might not play that for that long because it's kind of late. But I wanted to do that tonight, so I'm going to do that tonight. So 
Gonna play a little bit of Link to the Past Randomizer coming up next on the stream. Uh, feel free to use this as your off ramp if you would like. Um, get some rest, make sure you take care of yourself and uh, drink water, eat food. It's a little bit late, but I'm, I'm gonna play for a little bit longer, so. I, uh, yeah, you gotta learn how to play the game at a high level. Same with, same with, uh, we're, we're baby rando players, but same with that. A lot of people race that. You never know uh, when you might get better at it. But yeah, let me, uh, let me take a quick BRB. In a moment. And we're back. Thanks for being patient with me. I was actually listening to a, a streamer talk about exactly that, Will. Like, it's easy to look at some of this stuff and be like, well, I suck and it's, there's just no way I can even enter this arena to, like, try and compete. And uh, they were pretty forward with how they were like, that's bullshit. You know, there's a lot of, uh, not only are there levels of people playing, but... Um, you'll get better. 
<laughs> like if you keep if you keep playing, you'll uh, and you're having fun, and you keep playing and you keep having fun and then you have more fun and you, and you play more and you, it's 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 a cycle that begets itself, and uh, do it for long enough, you find yourself here. There's a there's new golfers in our midst too. Like it's really cool that that's like a perpetual thing that keeps happening. It's very cool to be a part of all of this. I love uh, doing what doing what I do to perpetuate it. Big big bulba, big bulbasaur vibes for certain <laughs> about all of that. Uh, give me a little uh, moment here while I. Oh, I changed my categories. You know, if you're out there, uh, Lady Myung, Mario Punch, Gazzaro, anybody that's playing along with us for uh, our crazy new emulator, our crazy new emulator phase of life, <laughs> get uh, get your get your digital snesses out, because uh, if you'd like to play along with, this is the perfect time to. Let's do that. Yo, Kush, what's going on, dude? I actually just uh, just moved over from golf. I was playing Blustery Basin all night. Good to see you, dude. It's been a minute. I should have a tracker going for this, but I... Um, I'm not even going to get close to finishing it in this sitting, so I will uh, probably forego that for the for tonight. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I was going to say there's a couple of golfers here, Kush. I was just getting uh, getting yeah. Will Will's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. There's a couple of golfers here. We just we just kicked over from Blustery, so they're probably still here. But this is new, man. This is like, um, we did start the thing. We did make the file. <clears throat> but we didn't, I don't even think I made it through escape, right? I just, I like died once and I was like, yep, that's it. I, uh, I'm done for the night. I think that's where I, I think that's where I ended last night. So, let me like, uh, I'm gonna try and see how comfortable, see, see what all I want to do here. This is nice. I can just do this. I have a couple of different ways I can sort of set this up. Ophelia is nearby, but she doesn't want to be on the pedestal anymore. I don't know why. I know, right? It, it's just like <laughs> the, the you can if you if you had it on low volume and you were waiting for the Zeldu portion. <laughs> Zeldu, we're gonna go climb Zeldu Mountain if we can find it. I think it's really purple. I think the mountain is so purple, um, but look at, this is such a peach seed. Look at this bubblegum pool. 
Uh, I didn't even make it through this part. <clears throat> I just di I died once and it was like, oh, sorry, good night. <laughs> it's a Triforce hunt. Can't even hit him. I don't even need to be over here. I'll take the magic. Lord knows I'll need it. Pikachu might, uh, the Pikachu one might not be fully set up like your Peach one, but it's about finding 20, 20 Triforce pieces. Oh, did you generate one on your own? Okay, cool. There was a link that I po I did post the link. Like when I when I do it, I can actually send you the link too. Maybe even if you're if you're able to generate them, then let me actually repost that. If you're able to generate your own stuff, this is the link to the seed that I'm playing right now. You're using the peach too? Nice. This is the uh, this is the link. If you go to this link and you're able to do the generation, this is the, this is the seed that I'm playing. So you, if you want to play the exact same one that I'm playing, you can use that. But otherwise, just play along, just to learn. Yeah, Myung, you're learning. Rando takes a little while to learn. <laughs> I love that you're playing it. I'm so happy that you're playing it. I hope you, I hope you like it enough to keep playing it. I hope I like it enough to keep playing it. But this is, apparently I was reading up on it, that's not really intended to be so much of an acid trip glitchy mess, but the rain state, something about the rain state in the development team, uh, like rain causes glitches or something, but there's only like five rain screens, so they never fixed it. And that's, uh, that's why that is that way. Which is kind of funny. We got blue hearts. I would have picked red. They're random though. Pikachu is for me time. This is where I died last time because this is a dark world enemy that uh, takes a lot of health away if you, if you don't get it. <laughs> it might even take three hearts away. Wow, okay, early powder. Okay, so this, yeah, everybody that was playing this seed was like, ooh, this thing moves quick at first, but you get stuck. Uh, pretty, pretty soon. But, early powder, okay. That'll, that'll make things, that's probably why Giz was making it through the dungeons. It was, he was, he, that's, he, he was making fairies in the dungeons. Okay, see you. Should just cruise, but that's fine. Good enemies there. Ooh, mini Moldorm here. Spoke too soon. You have Zelda, but getting past the underground tunnel is tough. Yeah, to the to the sanctuary. Yeah, once you get to the sanctuary, you'll have the save there. But you gotta get through there, and with enemy rando. Yeah, we have we're doing enemy shuffle and boss shuffle, and it's full boss shuffle. It's not enemy. It's not enemizer. It's enemy shuffle, which is a little bit easier. It's still pretty acid trippy, but enemy rando is. For me, impossible. Here's our ball and chain. A Gibdo. Wow, okay. It's actually kind of tricky. He's fast. And he's going to require a lot of damage to be done to him. <laughs> That's so much for, a, for, that, for that enemy to need. Early lamp. Wow, French. Uh, that's not French vanilla lamp, but if you if you skip the lamp in vanilla, that's where the lamp appears. That's interesting. This is a this is a fun little seed. Okay, so girls girls tied. The this is like the this is like how the beginning of the parent trap starts, right? Where you have the two look-alike sisters, Zelda Zelda and Peach. They they meet and they're like, we should we should switch. We should switch. Like, I'll dye my hair blonde, and you dye your hair brown, and you put on the pink dress, and I'll put on the... And then uh, you be Zelda for a year, and I'll be Peach for a year, and no, oh, you're getting the voice all perfect. I, uh... <laughs> and then, and then, and then she, she, like, can't hack it. She's like, this is fucked up, I can't be royalty. 
and then uh <laughs> but the zelda is the zelda or the peach the peach is having a ball because she's like running the shit but zelda the zelda is like i just sit in a cell all day man i'm like fucking literally <laughs> incarcerated <laughs> and uh she doesn't like it it was exactly like that yeah that's how the movie went right <laughs> That's how the movie went. Which one's Lindsay Lohan? <laughs> mm, why is the the floor is literally shit brown? Like that is this this we didn't get that lucky with the light world colors. The purple drapes are nice. I like the purple drapes. This is a, is it a tough tunnel? Okay, so Miyong is in this tunnel. She's not she's not playing the same. She she might be having fun generating like just doing settings. Ooh, we got some dark world enemies. This is bad. You gotta just run past them. Don't even, don't even attempt it, Miyong. Just fucking run past them if you can. Do a lot of spin attacks. Oh, bad guy! The fucking desert dude <laughs> and a mimic, or is that what those guys are? You used the link I shared? Okay, cool. And these guys are unkillable. You can't you can't actually kill the uh, the red guys. But I have the powder. And I have a bunch of magic so I can like I can I can make these guys into fairies. I'm not even gonna try. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> you killed it? <laughs> you killed it? I didn't think you could kill the red ones with the fighter sword. You just have to yeah, that's a room full and full of total bullshit. Oh my it's a crystal roller? Alright. Uh-huh. Alright. <laughs> That's where you died, too? Uh-huh. I don't know how to get past that, actually. Um... How are we gonna get past that, Myung? How many hearts did I have? There's an opening at the bottom. I need to, I need to like, stock up on hearts here. That guy can one-shot me, too. I know he's coming. Gotta be ready for him. I want the heart from you. No. See, rupees endgame, randomizer endgame, rupees become, like, very important. Jeez, there's a blind. <laughs> okay, um... These, this room you just skip. This room you just... This is... This is pink... Pink madness. Alright. Oh yeah, you can get down by the pots. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> can you... Oh, but you got a time... Oh, that's so mean! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, the, the key's over there, though. Oh, God. Not anymore. Whoever... You have the key? Yes! That was lucky. <laughs> they start moving around, and you're like, I don't know which one of you is in that corner. <laughs> Ooh, this is hard. Get away from me! <laughs> Yikes! This one's definitely a real tricky one. Oh, get away! Not now! Not here! Not now! I need the fairy! Not here! Not now! Uh, that's a face melter, dude. That's a face melter. That's a, that's a face melter. <laughs> that room is a face melter if you lose even one heart. Oh god, I can't believe I'm glad we did it. We did it on the like second try. 
So I have quarter heart speed, so you don't have to listen to that awful sound, like, all the time, but... I suggest you make that change in your seed generation. Put it on, put the hearts on quarter speed and you don't have to listen to it go beep, 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 beep. It just, it only goes once every little bit and it's like, I have a controller though. You can see, dude, you see how fa how much faster I move Miong, like how I can do the doors differently. Like having the controller is game changing, dude. Okay, so we made it through Sanctuary. Oh, hey, I could use that. Cool. Okay, so now, uh, look at this light world. The light world looks like the dark world in this seed. It's very strange. Yo, Shadow, what's going on, dude? How's your night going? I just switched over to Zelda. I was playing Blustery Basin Golf all night tonight, and uh, I, I really improved my score over the evening. I got the 19 under that I really wanted in practice, but that's what I'm playing tonight, or that's what I'm playing this, this coming week in League. But this is our first Triforce Hunt seed. This is the first time we've ever uh, attempted a Triforce Hunt. And we've got Lady Miyong, Mario Punch, Gizarro, and myself. I'm gonna wait. I'm going there in just a second. All playing in this uh, this current like sort of casual Triforce Hunt race. But they've been playing it for a day, and I just got into the seed, so I've only got two pieces so far. But we, it's enemy shuffle and escape was kind of really tricky. Andy went looking for the ether medallion. Oh, Andy. I'm doing well, man. Oh, sh I have cool news. I have a chair. Look at this. I'm sitting, I'm streaming in a chair for the first time ever. I've only ever been a standing streamer or... I would have like this crappy bar stool that I would perch on. And I've been doing that for like two years. <laughs> and I finally, finally uh, got, a, got a chair. Got like a real, like a chair that I like. Like a low back chair that I can, the headrest doesn't screw with me. I'm really, really, I'm really, really happy about it. And I could have like a, I could have like a cushion on it to like, Get a little bit higher up, I was doing that all night, but, um... It's so cool to be able to, like, sit back. I've never been able to, like... Like, you know, ooh, I almost fell out. <laughs> I've never been able to, like, lean back, like, sit back and, like, lean back on my stream before. It feels kind of surreal. Wow, look at this. This is a very, uh... This is, like, real Dust Bowl Kakariko. You put on the armor tonight? Oh man! And I missed your stream tonight too, dude. Do you do you have vods up? Can I wa can I look at it later? Ooh, can of Samaria. Yeah. That was that's great. Um, you put on the armor tonight? Fuck yeah, dude. Well, I don't even have to. I know it was amazing. I don't even have to ask how how it went. I, I, I bet it rocked, dude. How did the paint come out? Did, did you, are you happy with the paint job? I, um, I have to go and uh, take a look at this. Blue mail, ooh, purple peach. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Yo, speaking of putting on the armor, Shadow Knight, we're gonna put on the armor in honor of and solidarity with you. Shadow, Shadow, Revan Knight is my, like... <laughs> I only know one, one space-faring Boba Fett-ass hitman, and, that, and it's him. 
Um, we're gonna dome the blue male. Blue plus pink equals purple. <laughs> purple peach. I am so I get to be the purple peach. I'm a purple peach. <laughs> and the bow. This seed really is friendly. This is supposedly this is a friendly seed early on, and man, are were they right, dude? Purple peach. Dude, doesn't she look great? She looks great. She's like, I've never thought a, pix a piece of pixel pixel sprite art uh, would just look so pretty. I know she's wearing a crown, but it kind of looks like she's got a little bun. <laughs> I bet she's got a little bun under her crown. Yeah, look at... I didn't even... How did I never put two and two together? We can make... We can do purple peach. I know she's pink, but... We can do purple peach. Purple peach with the little white gloves is pretty cute. <laughs> Alright, I got some bombs. I have to go back in here. But man, just being able to have my feet flat on the ground and being able to like sit back and look at the monitor. <sighs> my back already feels better. It was awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. That makes me so happy to hear. I'm sorry I missed it. I will absolutely go back and watch uh, your VOD. Hookshot from Bottle Dude. Can I uh, can't ask for more than that. No nah, man, I saw. I think I, I'm I'm bummed now because I saw you go live and I was like, ah, I've got time. I can hang out. And uh, and then I just started getting ready. I started getting ready with all my stuff. I was I put this chair together today, and I redid my entire stream setup to to like accommodate for me being like lower, you know, because I normally stand. And and that took like all day. And I should have had your stream on in the background. I would have known that you were doing a cool reveal. And I just didn't. I was just uh, I was watching golf like a like a like a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Get a Triforce piece out of that, um, but I, I will go back and look at that because I'm I'm really ha I'm really happy that you're here telling me about it. Oh shit! I got plenty of bottles already. Don't I have? Did I have? Uh... I already have three bottles in this seed. That this is this is interesting. And a hook shot. We're gonna do things. We're gonna do things. Mitts from Sick Kid. Very cool. Um That's pretty sweet. Man, all of that's really sweet. That's a great... Okay, that's just our first pass through town. Man, that's great. I think, uh... I'm pretty sure I noticed that this was nothing. We'll take a look. Yeah, just, uh... Just rupees. Do I have any bombs? No, but I can take. I can check what this is. I forget that I can do. You can just go look, and see what it, see what's here. Just rupees, so we don't even have to do it. Doing checks is just as good as doing uh, doing doing stuff sometimes. All right, we haven't looked at the map yet. All crystals in the light world. Both of the bomb crystals. That's what the red means. I, Pretty certain that's what the red means. <laughs> are the, those are the pyramid crystals? Um, okay, so I've got this new fake flipper thing that I do. So why don't I just do that? We can do a, a couple extra checks early with that, and it may be actually. I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty. It'll be pretty cool to get me going 
early on this seed. I watched Giz do it, so I may, I may, I may have a hint, but a lot of, I mean, a lot of people watch me play too, and they get, they get hints, they get hints by watching me play. <laughs> we have the bow, dude. Do I have any bombs? Oh, I need bombs. Give me some bombs. Give me bombs. I um. We have everything we need to do Eastern. I have I can't really do these checks without bombs. <laughs> so I need somebody to give me a bunch of bombs. I'll go uh I didn't, I didn't quite Oh shit. I didn't quite uh I was like I'll find bombs on the way. You you didn't. Bombs. Yo, Rob, gifting a sub to Shadow Knight. Oh, Red Grand so Troll cool gifted a tier one sub to Shadow Revan Knight. They have given 159 gift subs in the channel. Hugely cool of you, Rob. Shadow Knight's an incredible streamer as well. They uh, they cause they they stream in full like armor, like it's uh. You gotta check it out. You gotta check out. You gotta check out their stream. Lucky 159. Let's see if I can get this right. Yo, thanks for saying that, Rob. I um, your support means leagues and goes really far. And uh, I'm really glad that cool streamers and people like Shadow are also benefits of it, beneficiaries of it. But dude, I stream, uh, <laughs> I stream from the heart, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it it shows. <laughs> Sometimes in uh, pretty oblivious ways. But I'm really glad that you you perceive uh, my genuineness. Oh, why? Uh, wait, that sh that shouldn't have. Uh... I'm I'm purple peach. I got the blue. I'm peach with the blue male. This should. For some reason, this isn't fixing. Normally, I can come out and go back in. Maybe I'm going out too far. Man, I never actually had this happen. Oh man, I can't check that because I can't actually get this to work. It's, it's Peach's purple... purple male. Ooh, I fucked something up. Ooh, I fucked something up. How did I do that? A, a, a soft lock glitch for you, Rob. <laughs> and your gift sub. What did I do? Is it because I'm holding the hook shot? I can't even save and quit. I'm, I'm, I clipped into something that I did not intend to clip into. And now I can't get out. And I don't have the boots. I don't have anything... No. <laughs> I actually can't. Oh, there it is. I, got, I finally got it. I don't, I, something happened with the... Uh, I couldn't actually do that until just now. I can, all right, I'm going to save and quit from here. I actually want to go back and fake flipper again because that glitch is supposed to work. I, that's, that's the first time that's ever not worked for me.
Man, that was cool though. We clipped, it's because it's Peach, and she's so powerful. We managed to, uh, to cause some real trouble. Man, I'm glad I got a save and continue out of that, or save and quit out of that. Yeah, we have enemy randomizer on, so a lot of things could, uh, ma many, many things could pop up. I need bombs. I don't have any fucking bombs. Just hoping for a random spawn here. Is this the crystal roller seed? Are these things gonna be everywhere? The water, the pink water. The MSU pack is uh, sort of like an aftermarket thing. Ooh, hammer here. That's amazing. But the universe, like the universe of sounds has been sort of like reselected. Imagine like a DJ, you know, picking, picking certain tracks for certain areas. And then the MSU will, uh, the music isn't random, no. I chose Stardew music. But, and like where the tracks go and are has, is like curated. It's like, this is our overworld music. It will always be our overworld music in the light world, but it'll change in the dark world. Stardew, definitely. bombs for this too oh man I forgot it's late I've, I always run into some bombs by now I'm, I'm out bomb I've been out bombed man give me some bombs <laughs> give me the bombs man give me the bombs I'm more likely to well that's kind of always random I got I'm gonna go buy them so I can. I have a bunch. I have a ton of bomb stuff that I uh, should have done by now, but I just didn't because I skipped it. Let's go buy some bombs. Yo, have a good night, Slick. I'm not gonna be on for that much longer, so you won't miss much. I um, desert. It's hot. It's that way. <laughs> but yeah, it's late for me too. I just wanted to get into this. We found a couple pieces of Triforce. I'm sort of screwing off because I don't have any bombs, so I can't check anything. But sweet dreams and good vibes to you, my man. Oh gosh, they do so much damage. Oh gosh. Buy the bombs. I'll take one of those too. Oh wait, I don't have. I have. Uh, I have these things. I gotta let this. I gotta let this be out. I like how they. The, the signs are hot pink too. Okay. Um. Now I can actually do do stuff. There's another weird and silly glitch that I want to try and do down there, but I haven't ever tried it, so I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> Whenever I do that and I go looking for ma magic or bombs, oh, darn it. I, um, 
I never find it. I thought this was something else, but I'm not in the dark. This, this, these colors are weird because it makes you think you're in the dark world. Um. I need. I'm probably gonna need the flippers too. So we should probably go look at Zora. Not that the, it's up there, but it's just. <laughs> when I think of flippers, I think of Zora. Grape Crush? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Grape Crush. If I had a Grape Crush right now, I would drink. I would drink the shit out of that. Grape Crush is delicious. I, I'm a real Orange Crush kind of guy, too, though. That's what the water reminds you of is Grape Crush. Oh man, I would love a Grape Crush. 300 rupees. We'll go see Zora. In a minute. Yeah, we got enough. Almost. Yeah, we're plenty. Nothing but rupees here. <laughs> Sounds good. We will go see the king. Give me the king! Grape Crush. Yeah, this blue, this blue dirt with the Grape Crush water. Really something. Oh. Man, these these enemies are shuffled in a pretty nasty way. Yikes. Whoa. Look at that. Oh, Ice Palace is going to be... It's like... Oh, yeah, it's like the Barbie... Barbie Ice World. All Ice World is Barbie. In this seed. <laughs> right? I, I don't think the Ice Palace is... Uh, or I don't have the net yet. I don't think the Ice Palace is saloon music, but these these caves are a different type of music. <laughs> and they are, uh, yo, Winter, what's going on? So good to see you. Check it out, we got the blue male with Peach, and she turned purple. And I have a chair. Check it out, Winter, I'm sitting in a chair. The first time I've ever streamed sitting in a chair it's uh it's a it's a real red letter night it's a real milestone date i want to do this fake flipper thing again but it might be folly If I, uh, if I screw it up again. Alright, I'm in. Let's hope, uh... Or let's, let's go and just, uh... Check Bottle Dude. First. And then we'll, uh, we'll save and quit. That way we'll save. We'll actually save. The stream is going great. I played a bunch of Bluster Basin and I just sort of kicked over to Zelda. I got some really nice scores on the Basin tonight. I cleaned up a bunch of different things. 300 rupees, okay. Or, oh wait, I don't have the flippers. Um, we'll save them for But it's kind of late. I'm just kind of playing uh, a little bit of our... This is a Triforce Hunt seed, so it's different than anything we've ever done before. So we're, what we're doing is, and Lady Miong playing ROMs. Lady Miong discovered how to how to use a SNES emulator and download ROMs, and now now Lady Miong is a is an unstoppable force of nature. 
<laughs> you have a cat purring on your chest, you weren't going anywhere. Ophelia sat here for like a good three hours tonight. She liked the new setup. They ripped everything apart and changed my whole setup tonight. Oh yeah, we're we're going to uh so we're doing slow Zora because we don't have the boots. No, Winner takes really good care of her cats. Her cat. Rob said the the water looks like grape crush. What do you think it looks like, Winner? I haven't found my mushroom yet. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Also, Panda is a is a tuxedo. Right? I guess, uh, yeah. Yeah, Panda's a tuxedo. I have to, uh, I can't do that here. Wow, the green, the green explosion guy. Wow, Quake is there, okay. I could try this one glitch that I, uh... Ooh, I'm gonna get hit by that. That I thought about, that I read about, but I never actually tried. If I can get flippers out of this, if I don't... If I'm not gonna get them from this guy, but... Unless it's a very, very, very... Friendly seat. I don't even want the flippers out of this guy, I want... I don't want... I don't even know what I want. I just know that I had the money early, and I think I think there's something here. Boots! Yay! There was. Okay, so I I, I might have to watch this again, but. You need to have three arrows in the wall, and then you drop two bombs, and then you break something. <laughs> I did it! I, I was in there. That did work for a second. That was interesting. I've never actually pulled that off before. Nope, that didn't work. Yo, have a good night, Rob. Sleep well, my man. Oh, I ran out of bombs. I want Quake, but... But I'm out of bombs. And I, I got in. I did get it. I got in there. I did get it, but it like kicked me out. But we do have boots. So that's cool. But it kicked me out of there. I'll have to come back and figure that out later, but, um... Boots are good. Boots are good. I had that, dude.
I wonder if there's a reason <laughs> for the season. Of course there is. That was weird how that was. I don't know, maybe maybe the peach sprite is uh, somehow affecting this. do it there. I'm just frustrated that I couldn't do it. <laughs> that lean river, yes. <laughs> the river of lean. <laughs> that lean. It does. Yeah, Grape Crush was the vanilla. Like the, uh... But, really, we all know. We all know what's in that river. <laughs> Codeine syrup. Why can't I do this all of a sudden? It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to work up here. Oh, peach. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't want to work up here. I was watching Giz have some trouble doing it up here too. I don't know if it's different up here for some reason. Oh, I was there. That lean river. Blaze it. go down to the bottom of the river, or bottom of the lake and see if it's like, there we go. See if it's just me, or if it's this thing. This isn't even the, but yeah, I don't want to do it here because this isn't even the right, <laughs> this isn't even the right waterfall. <laughs> but I just, I did it. I, we, we did it. We did it. The frippers, the, the flompers. <laughs> and I have bombs now, so actually, no, I don't have bombs because I used them all doing that dumb thing that I didn't do right. Do some bombs, man. <laughs> Give me the bombs, man. The frippers. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, I'm just sort of fucking around at this point. I, I, I don't. The quake. Um, we might need the quake. At least we know where it is now. I know, right? She's wearing like her little white gloves, <laughs> and she just totally eats shit on the on the. Uh... I mean, this is that's that's dirty mud. That mud is gross, dude. Like, if she falls in it, it's disgust. It's gross, dude. All right, well, there's a lot we can do that I'm just not doing because I want to. I, I just want to go through and do easy shit. Uh, that ain't that ain't mud. Mm -mm. <laughs> Four hundred head of horse pass through here every day. That ain't mud. <laughs> Peach knows she contracted the horses. 
He's like, I know all too well. God damn, they take away two hearts too. <laughs> like, I know all too well that they took all my fucking bombs that I just bought at a premium retail. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I just bought those bombs retail. Like, that, that, is, that is the worst kind of theft. Like, I paid full price for that shit, man. And you stole it from me! Wait, I already, uh... I already went in that one. I kinda need it. I know, this, we don't have it on Enemizer. This is still Shuffle, but it's been bad to see. There's Crystal Rollers. There's places where there should not be... Crystal Rollers, dude. What did I, I... I keep thinking I'm in the fucking dark world because these colors are screwing with me. I can't do this. Can I? Oh, this is what I, yeah, I was gonna say, I already came here, but I didn't have any bombs. What do you have to say? Once I had a fish dinner, I still remember it to this day. Mm-mm, you can't beat fish. The moon pearl, dude. I uh, I've been I've been having no less than two double stuff Oreos every break. I'm only taking two breaks, but I've been I've been getting into some of them double stuff Oreos as well. <laughs> All right, the moon pearl. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need that. I'm glad I came back. Bonk. I bought Oreos today, winter. I went to Aldi's, and I got that flatbread pizza that I doctored up. It came out great. And I got Oreos. <laughs> I, got a, I got the party size. Party size! Which I think just means big. Big box. I gotta get that, I gotta get that glitch right down here. Because it, it really screwed up my game last time, and I, I gotta... I gotta see if that happens again. If it does, we gotta we gotta know why. I can do it so easy there. Why can I do it so easy there? No, like real legit Oreos that all these. Yeah, not the knockoffs. I, it's amazing, I know, right? It's, it's weird. Okay. All right, that worked. If you all right, if you were here 20 minutes ago, that didn't work. But that I got that glitch to work. Okay, and it's Bombos. All right, sweet. It's Bombos and it's a heart, and that's a sequence break too. Yeah, she's yeah, she's she's got her head right there. Yeah, she's got a head right in the rock. And I don't have, if you notice, I don't have the uh, thing that I need to actually do that. But that's why that. Oh yeah, now I can water walk. <laughs> Check it out, Cathedral. <laughs> I'd buy that for a rupee. Did I get hit? Oh, I think I think if you get hit, you can't do it anymore. Yeah. You saw I, what I was doing. I could, if I would have gone the other way, I could have ran down across Lake Hylia. I can't. That's not. I can't water walk the right way, but I can induce a water walk by doing that, and I can make it to Lake Hylia with said water walk. So. I can hang, man. I'd buy that for a rupee. 
Destiny boy has lunch again. <laughs> your uncle recovers. Your house! <laughs> um, have you ever seen the Hulahan Room Cathedral? Do you know about Do you know about the Chris Hulahan Room? In a Hulahan room. <laughs> I live in a Hulahan room. I have the mitt so I can actually do it here, but there's another way to do it that I learned, but this way works. It didn't work. But at least we get to check these chests now. I'm gonna try it again. It was supposedly somebody who won a contest in like 90s Nintendo power. And the, the contest was get your name in a Nintendo game. And the person who won it was a guy named Chris Houlihan. Uh, yeah, I slowed the health beep down as slow as I possibly could slow it down. Oop, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, I have health. I have hearts to do this. Uh, yeah, it's quarter speed now. <laughs> I thought you might like that. You're much more watchable for background content. Okay, I don't have the flippers, so this should work. I should be able to screw with the memory thing a different way because I don't have the flippers. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, you have to look at the church. Ch purple and green and pink church. That's a cool church. It's like a Twitch church. <laughs> the Holy Church of Twitch. You can't let your uh, camera go all the way to the bottom. Yeah, I did it. And you go all the way up here. And you push it to the top. And then you go one, two, three. Four, and then you fall in this hole. And you go to the fucking Chris Houlihan room. <laughs> it's in the vanilla game. It's in the real game. I didn't know the actual way to get to the room. I just read about, like, the, uh... Like how you like how they wanted like I don't know there's and this isn't even actually like for sure but they said that they wanted kids to be able to they speculated that they wanted kids to be able to tell each other about this and like how to do it and uh, supposedly you can get there if you run if you start at the sanctuary and run the fastest possible way to the secret passage behind the palace that you fall down at the very beginning of the game. If you like run there really fast from the sanctuary, you can you can get in there like without a glitch. But supposedly that's where the game puts you whenever it doesn't know where to put you. So that's what I was able to do there. That's what I was gonna do. Um if I couldn't come up with the money for that Ganon fight. But I didn't actually get to do that. Oh, I didn't click on it because it says... It just says... It says the tournament winners of Rando. I should have clicked on it. It says, like... <laughs> 2017, this guy. 2018, this guy. Like, it, it's, it's all the winners of the... Uh, like, the Rando tournaments. I should go do it again. Ouch. Ow! I won't do it again. I'm sure I'll do it sometime. Soon. Alright, let's go check... Uh, what can we do? I'm, I'm trying to do a couple of easy things before... 
we go into a dungeon here. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Dark World, I think the Dark World might look cool. Wow. The Dark World got the cool colors. The Dark World got the cool colors, man. Yeah, f straight up Blood Wave, bro. And a piece of Triforce? Nice. The Blood Wave! Behold, behold the Blood Wave. Behold the Blood Wave. Nice. Nice. Okay, we've been needing a lot of bombs, so I'll take that. Cool, alright. That's six pieces of Triforce. Two in the hype. Three in the hype cave? Hype as fuck, dude. Super hype. Um, Zelda hype! Yeah, that was that was like a lot, dude. I think Punch said he has eight. He's been playing. Gazara has twelve, and he's been playing all day, dude. This is Zora. <laughs> Interesting. Let's go to. Uh... Beast Town. Can I get in there? I can't get in there yet. I don't have the mirror. I do have the moon pearl early here, so that's cool. Is this guy here yet? I don't have the shovel, but I think I can talk to this guy, right? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I mean, we can sit here and stare at each other if you like. Fine, I guess I should just go. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't have a mirror. So my options become somewhat limited pretty quickly this early in the game. When I'm, when it's this early in the game and I'm in the dark world, it's, um, not as, there's not that much I can do yet. I'll take a shield, though. Thanks, bro. <sighs> I'll take a shield. I don't pass that shit up. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not that good. Peach with the shield is pretty cute. However, that early hammer, early hammer and swamp. Kind of like. Kind of really uh, gave us an edge. Or gave us a good good push here. Let's go. What do we got? What do we want to do here? We can go take a look at the pyramid on the way back. We'll do that on the way back. The pose. Those are pose. Early pose. Might as well see what the catfish has. We already got that shield. If I'm already up here, I might as well go do that. Cooligan! The mighty Cooligan. Sam. His name was Sam. Sam the Mighty Cooligan. He, he preferred bushes to rocks. Look at the, look at this blood wave. Look at this blood wave. What do you got, homie? Yo, red male? <gasps> the red peach. Blood peach. The blood peach. The Blood Peach Rises! Anaxunamun! <laughs> Anaxunamun! <laughs> it's a bloody seed. <laughs> blood Peach. Not my blood! 
<laughs> Peach, Peach is doing the, uh... <laughs> what movie is that from? It's fucking, uh... Tim Robbins. It's a movie about aliens or some shit. He's like, not my blood! Not my blood! I'm gonna go to the Coolahan room. Yo, your your linguistics are it's like it's almost like you work at a library. You're so good at words. Coolahan room. Chris Coolahan. <laughs> Not many people know he won the uh, the Nintendo Power contest. Ah yes, I remember him well. Chris Coolahan was his name. Chris Coolahan. <laughs> I fucked up the joke. <laughs> I fucked up the joke. Um, go find the Triforce pieces, you dingus. Wait, do I have to do Aga for this to appear? Sometimes I think I do. No, it's just repeats. Okay, never mind. Super Rintendo. What am I having after this? Turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Alright, uh, we checked Pyramid. We went over there. We didn't even look at the map in the Dark World yet. Okay, so Palace of Darkness has a green pendant. We need three crystals to open up Ganon's Tower. I have a feeling we're going to have to pull pedestal in this seat. I don't know why. So I, I kind of want to go for the pendants first. To be honest, it's kind of weird, but... Everybody else is having trouble with the crystals. I think I want to go for the pendants first. I have the lamp, I have the cane. If I can sequence break my ass into fucking mire or desert, I'm doing that in the sea. I can probably do that into ice palace too. If I can find the gold mints. That's what I would need for that sequence break. That's a little bit different, but if I have everything I need to get in the ice palace, it's really just a matter of doing the palace with low ass health. That's like the most impossible, which you know, for me, it'll take a while. <laughs> For me, that takes a while. <laughs> this is cool, though. We've got some really, really cool shit that we've been working on here. This is great. I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably raid out here. It's super late. It's like super, super late for me. I want to keep playing. This chair is so comfortable that I'm just like, I can just keep playing, dude. I'm gonna hang out and keep playing. Man, this chair is so comfortable. I can just keep playing. I want to. It's like almost fucking 6 a.m. <laughs> I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed so that I can get back up. Uh, I don't have anything going on today, so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to bed and get up, and then probably stream again. <laughs> that's my whole. That's my whole plan for 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 life right now. <laughs> so uh, that's what I'm. That's what I'm working on tonight. This is a great dark world, though. This is a great dark world. When do you go in today, Cathedral? You should be asleep. Well, yeah. I'll, let me let me make your life a healthier place by uh, by helping you, giving you a little bit of a send off. <laughs> you have to work today too. Right on. I don't have yeah. I don't have a whole lot on my roster right now. So uh, it's a sharp change from my summer, which was just I didn't have enough time to do anything, and now it's just like, like the bottom has sort of fallen out of all of that. And I uh, I'm cool with it. I got a chair. You know what I mean? I got a chair. I got a chair now. Things are looking up. Things are a thousand percent better than they were yesterday when I didn't have this fucking chair, you know? How much better will they get tomorrow? Tune in to find out. <laughs> I'll try and be on at my decent time. I'm going to really try and get on at, a, at not midnight my time. Only streams in the middle of the night. That's my, that's my meme archetype. You checked out an Agatha Christie book today? Nice. Which one? Which book? And then there were none. 
one familiar, and they all die. And they all died in their purple drapes. There's nobody we know on because <laughs> it's the middle of the fucking night. Like really, really super late. I'm gonna raid out to RX Mary J. They kind of have been hanging around. I'm not uh, that familiar with what they're playing, but I'm gonna raid. I'm gonna raid this guy. Be easy and be well to all of you. Freaking love you to death. Seriously, take care of each other and yourself. But we're we're all we have. So thanks for uh, being my friend. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna get some really good sleep. I'm gonna have a little bite to eat. I'm gonna get some really good sleep. And then I will be back to, uh, I'll probably start with Zelda first thing tomorrow. I wanna, I really wanna get into this seed. We did a bunch of the easy stuff right off the bat. I really wanna get into this seed and do some dungeon shit, man. So give RX Mary Jane some love. Uh, they've been they've been super friendly in, in our channel over here popping in. So I think they're playing World of Warcraft, so if you need something for the background, it might just be the thing. Be easy and be well. And take chances, but seriously, drive safe. It's fucking dangerous and cold and shit out there. Cathedral, I love you to death. Winter, seriously. Cat, give give Panda a cat, cat pat for me too. Freaking love both of you. And uh, and Lady Miyong, huge Squishmallow hug. You're welcome for stream, Shadow. I'm liking hitting a little bit of a rhythm with my favorite game and my new favorite game, so. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Good night, all. Good night, Will. Good night, everyone.